Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukhah, Kodash. Good more honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom, and in peace, and that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. With the Hebrew Israelites coming once again to prophesy the return of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and condemn this world and this wicked kingdom. So as soon as we've got scriptures, let's go. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is um, the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4. Let's go to verse uh, verse 6. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and all wise fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. Right. And this is for bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness profited, is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. And just like we always talk about, you know, it's not unlawful to do bodily exercise. Clearly, it says it profits, but it profits little. But the things that are like are fables, right? False, basically, a fable is like a false, um, like a false narrative. So it's really, really roughly summarized. I don't necessarily know how to define it. I'm sure, brother, will put it up. This is the word mythos. Oh, perfect. Like, muthos, sorry. Like muthos. Is it muthos? Like muthos. Muthos. muthos rather. So muthos, where you get the word myth from, which basically goes into a speech, word, saying, a narrative, a true narrative, a fiction, a fable, an invention, a falsehood. You see, it's the thing because, like it says, an invention, a falsehood. The word it just basically goes into a word, a saying. So people will people will inherently correlate to that, but it doesn't necessarily always mean that. You know what I mean? Like a word of speech could be a true thing. Like the tr uh, an actual word of truth would be a mythos, still, nevertheless, that is of truth, right? So, but in account, course, sorry, go ahead, no, you'd say, All right, I saw this brother, you know, his, his ox ran away, but then he went and got it. You know, it's not, you're not telling a lie, you're just recounting an, you're, an account, right? And that's your word, right? But in regards to like when it goes into like fictitious thing, the word fictitious, fictitious goes into something that's made, right? So uh, these fables, they're made, right? They're made and they're, they're constructed. And that's, that goes into a very, very broad thing. And you can see that in the world, one of the biggest things is whatever he pushes out, people will buy it. But they're buying into something that's of his word, and it's fictitious, it's made by him. Okay, but it's not actually true. It's a fable, nevertheless, as it says. As it says. But it's a fable that's, of course, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's false. The word fable goes back to the Latin fabula, yep. or fabula. Story, story with a lesson, tale, narrative account the common talk news literally that which is told so that which is told can be right are we not telling things that that's written in the bible you know to actually declare the truth to actually declare knowledge um i believe isn't it here um there you go this is first timothy three and one this is a true saying if a man desire the office of a bishop he desires the good work and that just goes into that but that word again in the beginning says true saying okay so it's it's said, but it's true in truth. But what does he push out? He puts out lies and, and deceit. Deceit is basically a deception, something to make you believe someone that is a lie. Okay, and the world is heavily hit with it, man. Okay, and I was saying, you know, today I was I was watching um a video of, of of Andrew Tate going on these um these YouTube content creator fucking dudes from the UK, and he went on their podcast and was talking about how everything is. Is, is basically based on corruption. There's corruption in everything. There's everything that you see, the whole world, the way it's structured, there's always going to be corruption in it. Right? The rulers rule in, in such wickedness, okay? And if that be the case, that means that the narrative they push is going to have hella corruption in it because that is the number one thing to get people on board with bullshit, right? They've got to hear a narrative, they've got to believe it's actually beneficial for them, necessary, it's, they need to depend on it and they'll go with it, kind of thing. All right? So as long as they're dependent, on E, they're going to follow that narrative. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Mm -hmm. right, so you can be around you know, people of the world on the job, but you can't take on their philosophy and their doctrine, and their manner and their conduct. Mm -hmm. Oh, they eat pork, I might as well. No, no, no. Yes. There's a separation. That's what it means to be holy. Put dash separate. Like I've mentioned this, sometimes when I'm around people of the world, sometimes I have to just look check just go i right, just think about the heavenly father just make sure you know just 
Just keep in your mind. It's not because like it's not like because I might do crack. I mean, I might. I might be a bug out, but the whole and they don't do crack. But the point is, is like the whole the whole point is, is that whenever you're around them, the scriptures make it clear that it can most certainly corrupt, and in fact, it will, right? Corrupt uh, the way that you are. Okay, it it will bring falsehood. It will bring wickedness. It will it will plague you, man. And why is that? It's because the whole earth uh, right now is plagued with lies and treachery. And that plague is very contagious, man. Okay, I believe it's in. Uh, do you have a. Oh, do you want to get your precept first? Can I get this? I'm going to look for wisdom, this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 12. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, and the wondering of concup concupiscence doth undermine the simple mind. Right, and the vibration that the world um, is under, you know, with E, you know, it's corrupted everything. Absolutely, everything, the food, we talked about that yesterday, weren't we, man? And what were you saying? What did you say? Uh, I, I mentioned, um, <laughs> I don't even feel even comfortable ordering like fast food or anything like that anymore. <laughs> or even wanting to eat anything because the Lord knows what you're eating. Literally, <laughs> that's why the brother, the brother was saying, um, I don't even want to know what's in the food. Like, bro, I, I kind of agree at this point because I, I might just be, it might be just like just too stubborn to eat because it's just, it's that bad man it's that bad it's funny not really it's funny because it's like fucking hell man like this this guy really got people out here casually throwing their money at mcdonald's when that's like if it's it, that's fucked that's like high level fucked up food all food is fucked but that's like that they tell you it's fucked I've, I've actually heard this i'm not sure if this is true if hope somebody can you know quote unquote fact check it there's actually certain places in, in Babylon where they actually put warnings, just like in, in tobacco packets, like this can, this is, can in, has a high increase of you getting cancer, you know, roughly quoting. And Babylon's got the worst food of all of them. You know, there's, certain, right. there's certain food that yeah, they man. sell in Babylon they can't sell in certain EU countries. But it's all, it's all still fucked. You know, I don't think just because it's not to that degree right, of right, fucked. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because like, that's what they do. So like, I was gonna say, that's what people say out here. Well, that's just what happens in America. No, this place is fucked. Eagles. That's just too fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's the most wicked place in the world. And when you go in Babylon, you eat stuff like burgers. You can actually like, because I remember when I came down there, I'm oh, sorry, when I went down there, from, and I, I remember eating stuff and going, yo, this is like different. Is this like, no, is this like normal? And they'll be like, yeah, it's, no, it's a beef burger, man. But it would feel different it's in not, your body. Probably not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good point. It's very rich though, is what I was trying to say. Full of steroids. Go ahead. It says Ezekiel 4 and 13. <laughs> And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. The word of so the it, was, it was prophecy, ultimately. Right. And Gentiles, what means what? It goes into nations, right? So the nations that were scattered in, they're all going to be taking part of the merchandise of Babylon. So they're all going to be part of some way or another of the corruption. Because the, the corrupt ruler, he's got them, man. He's got them by the neck, okay? And now I'm going to read this scripture in Sarah 13 and 1. You know, Elder Manasseh Zakhbar was the one that actually um, taught me this scripture and broke it down, not cursing me, you know, through his video. Sarah 13 and 1. He that toucheth pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. Right, so but in other words, man, you, you know, you, it, it, what he used as an example, which is a very good one, is I'm sure if you've seen Spider-Man, the third one, where there's um there's uh, that, um that weird fucking weird black gooey, pitchy substance like as if it was like tar and it, when he was touching it right it would go on it would go on him and it would cleave to him and it was hard to get rid of it and that was that's what that doctor guy said to him he said you know you know you, this stuff will it'll, it'll stay on you and it'll start taking over you and that's what sin does quicker than quick as fuck man all right because again this world is filled with the plague of lies and treachery and that plague is very contagious very contagious Right. And I will read the last bit actually again. I'll read the whole verse. He that touches pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. Right? You have that fellowship with that proud man, you know, you, you, you might you might end up just like him, man, if you're not you know in the right spirit. Because just like we're saying, sometimes you have to be around men that are which damn near everyone is in the world, because they're of the world, pride flash, motherfuckers. Okay? And sometimes you have to be around them, so that's why you gotta just make sure you, you meditate yourself in the scriptures. Remember, you know, how you walk in this world. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 6. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Right, and they're not fulfilled yet. We've got to get to a time where what that we're going into. Because we're in the third world. You know, we're definitely in the third world. We're not in the, the deep part of it, but we're in the start of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was there was there was many things that happened before the actual big ass wars happened within those two other wars. 
You know what I mean? There was many conflicts and concepts of like, uh, you know, preparing thereof with weapons and money and distribution. They, 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 they have to gear up before they just go in and do it. You know what I mean? Same with 70 AD as well. That's where it's oh, known. Yeah. It's known as 70 AD, but it's 66 to 74. 74. That's right. That's right. Water. Um, now, again, sorry, you had per certain persecution of the Christians under Nero. You know, Nero was only ruling until 68 AD. You know, he, he had, and he, if you've ever, you know, on firework night, so called bonfire night, that they have on the 5th of November, remember, remember the 5th of November, a guy thought was trying to blow up King James. What they have is something called a Roman candle, which is a firework. And what that used to be about 2,000 years ago was you'd take a believing Israelite. The Israelites that believed in Hamashiach, it was called, you know, the persecution on the Christians. And he would dip them in wax from head to foot, and he would light them at the top and let it burn all the way down while they were still alive. Yeah, and he would have that at his parties, and all his guests would be amazed. Yeah, and that would be a, a, a thing of his status. Yeah, how powerful he is, he's able to douse a, an Israelite that believes in whatever, you know, fluid light them from head to toe and that's now they have a, a firework named after it that's where you get the term roman candle yeah. so if that didn't show you this man's history because his his blessing is the sword you know he is who he, he has this you know in other words everything centered around him is going to basically be him being a wicked man and using his sword against you because he's blessed he's he's got the fairness of the earth and how has he got it? He's got it by implementing his other blessing, the sword, right? But it's only for a short period of time, of course. It's obviously been a long time, but the bigger picture is it's fucking nothing, man, right? That's why Romans 8 and 18, you know, the suffering now is it, not really compared, you know, roughly paraphrasing. This is Psalm chapter 90, verse 6. It says, sorry, Psalm 90, verse 4. For a thousand years in my sight are, a, are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. So that's a thousand years, so two thousand years ago. We've not even hit that yet, but that's that's about the time it, how long it was since Hamashiach Yahweh was crucified. But that's only two days into the Heavenly Father. So imagine what happened two days ago. It didn't seem like that was ages and ages and ages. So for us, it's been ages, but for the Heavenly Father, it's only a short amount of time. Uh, can I read this? Yeah, I've got a lot to read, so. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Sarak 13, because, um, you know. The people around you, you're going to want to cleave to individuals around you that are like you if you are in the right mind. So if you start to get real comfortable around people of the world, check yourself. Because sometimes I find myself too keen on going to the basketball court and I think, you know, why, you know, what am I... Because, like, I have to be around these people. Like, you need to think, like, properly. Like, am I in the right spirit? And I check myself and then I just think. And then I start to analyze it. Maybe I should just go, but just not too much and not speak too much. Just go get my things and I don't know. It just, the whole point is examining, you know. But anyway, Sarah 13 and verse, uh, I'm going to go 14. No, 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 it's okay. Book of Sarah, chapter 13, verse 15. Every beast loveth his life, and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorteth according to kind, and a man will cleave to his life. Mm -hmm. What fellowship hath the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the godly? What agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? And you see the kind, right? The kind, and the kind actually goes back into kindred. So they're like their own little branch of, of people, and they separate. And I, I was, now, uh, let's just some I like, our people don't really get it. The world doesn't get it because things are, you know, quote unquote, you know, well, they are changed, you know, things have changed, but there's some underlying thing about it that doesn't really change. You know, we do, we do know we're different, all right? This idea of like, we're all the same, we're all equal, you, you're full of shit, okay? You don't look at me the same way you look at. All right, you know, Bojo, okay? You don't look at me the same way you look at your favorite the Hollywood actor. If right. we're all equal, 100 meter final, yeah? I'm saying this. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, thanks for stealing my scripture. <laughs> I was going to bring out exactly what I was going to bring out. But the water anyway. If you want to keep reading, you might as well keep reading. Because I was going to read it anyway. Verse 19. As the wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. As the proud hate humility, so doth the rich abhor the poor. A rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friends, but a poor man being down is thrust also away by his friends. And that's, that's again, that's something that happens quite a lot, man. And this is why, you know, Andrew Tay is someone that gets this platform and says all this stuff, and people will listen to him. 
but one of the things that that's mentioned quite a lot amongst the body is that the apostles have been saying a lot of the stuff that these so-called red pill guys manosphere guys whoever the fuck on youtube has something good to say guys but you know they actually have been saying this for such a long time but of course ain't nobody gonna hear those those so-called bums those broke niggas in the street corners with bibles in their hands they're gonna have somebody with a lamborghini and a fucking super tight gucci shirt who drives you know or said drive sorry uh, you know who, who has who has a mansion who's got all the women flocking to him i have to listen to that motherfucker over there right because that's what the world promotes right right because in this world the rich are indeed they're they are consuming the poor in some way or another in some way or another that the poor are getting consumed man and the, the top police they're the ones that are really benefiting from it but these little so-called like they are rich to a degree but they don't really have the abundance in fact he actually said it he was actually talking about you know if, you, if you're a so-called home owner you don't really own your home because that shit can get taken away from you either way okay so it's unrighteous the way they deal with things in terms of the way they, they manage you know uh people fin financial situation regarding to their the, they're actually having a place to have shelter okay their tabernacle they dwell in because ultimately it's still if it's if you're talking about the context of babylon the context of great britain you know it's still the tabernacle overall it's ease because tabernacle man he's a ruler and he doesn't rule in righteousness man but this is psalm chapter 10 and verse 2 the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor let them take it in the devices that they have imagined you know persecute man you get the word persecute please this is the hebrew word for persecute it's the word the luck the luck to burn hotly pursue to burn to hotly pursue to kindle to inflame Ooh, that reminds me of a burning wrath um get that luck i hate when i can't paraphrase or even rather to say it clearly. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 68. But behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Over who? Over the, the elect, man. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, the things offered unto idols. Right? Being idle, I-D-L-E, the things offered unto I-D-O-L. Yep. So the, the things that are idle, worthless, over to idols, which is also worthless, but specifically the other idol, I-D-O-L is talking about, again, any other God that isn't the true power. That's what talking about. It doesn't even have to be recognized as a God. Money isn't recognized. Oh, this is a God. People still yeah. idolize it. Right, right. Your wife isn't recognized as that. You yeah. might still yeah. idolize her. Like that movie, uh, They See, They Live or whatever. We See, They Live. Damn, whatever it's called. I'm sure you brothers know exactly what I'm talking about with the brother, the individual <laughs> brother. So he, he's, he's your brother, right? <laughs> you know, the so called white man, he has the glasses, right? His sunglasses and he puts them on and he starts seeing things what they are what did he do he put his oh, glasses okay. on and the money it said this is your god right so they don't really see it like that but that is actually what it is that's the true way of how things go down in this world man and it says clearly in first timothy 6 and 10 the love of money is the root of all evil this is first timothy 6 and 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil well which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows there you go you, you, of course you're going to err from the faith, right? You, you, because right. you can't serve both the Most High and the Mormons, right? Mammon, which goes into wealth and riches. You can only serve the Most And if you serve the Most High power, these things will be added unto you, right? Seek you the kingdom first. All these things should be added unto you. There you go. Book of Sirach, chapter 13, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth oh, his slap, tongue. Can you go up? Sorry, yeah, could, yeah, I was... Start, I started... I was going to go 14, but you can proceed. Right? Could you go... Did you go to 20, please, because I've tried both. Sirach chapter 13, verse 20. As the proud hate humility, so doth the rich abhor the poor. A rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friends, but a poor man being down is thrust away by his friends. When a rich man is fallen, he hath many helpers. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and could have no place. So in other words, man, um, well, a rich man, he gets to he gets to heap up benefits no matter what. And his circumstance gets bad, he's got some of there for you, for him. If, if, he's, if, he's, if he was a poor man, that's, I'm going to read it actually, verse 22. When a rich man is fallen, he hath many helpers. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Things not to be spoken. And one of those things is blasphemy. Speaking against the fame of, 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 of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Injurious speech. 
that, that, that's, and people actually exalt that. People actually take fucking crazy joy in this world. I've noticed that growing up in high school, and I'm, it's gonna be, must, there must be so much fucking worse now, man. People take joy in blasphemy. People take joy in taking the piss out of people who actually believe in the most like God, because they think they, they think they're God, they think they're the shit, man. I can't wait till you fuckers learn how stupid you are, man. Anyway, it weaves here. I'm gonna finish this last case. There's a, a he speaks things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped. And yet they rebuked him too. He spake wisely and could have no place. Even if a poor man has someone good to say, hey, he's too broke for me to listen to him. I need to listen to the guy with money. Okay. Psalm 14 and 1. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 1. For the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they are going away from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. You're gonna be like you're gonna be destroyed if you don't try to like like basically settle down with a family and get all this money and whatever. And now we're gonna tell you straight up: it's it's you need it's good to better your circumstance. And there's nothing wrong if you're in a circumstance of getting a family, you know, getting a wife and children. But that's not really what we live for here, you know. It's not, it, we, what we live for is this truth. And we just, we have to have some way to live in this world. Like as in get the filed bread to eat, okay, get, get the filed money to buy it, buy, for, pay for our fucking electricity. Or I pay for water, our corrupt water, and I will know. tax. Yeah. Insurance, oh, yeah. tax upon your tax, that. insurance upon your insurance, yeah. insurance on your tax. Fucking hell, man. Subject to payments, man. Yeah, and it, it's all it's all a joke, it's all a scam, it's all it's all theft, man. It's all fucking treacherous behavior. And that's the people who rule over usury. us. Usury. Yeah, yeah. Which is is wicked to, to commit usury upon an Israelite, man. Mm. You know, according to the law, you're not allowed to do that. You can't have an Israelite in slavery. And this is us. You know, we, we Israelites can't have Israelites in slavery. Israelites can't use usury upon Israelites. We can have usury on the heathen. What does it say in Leviticus 25 and 44? Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaid thou shalt have shall be of the heathen which are round about you. Right, of them shall you have bondmen and bond, bondmaids and bondmen. Second two. Sarak 13 and 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. Right? When, a, when, when, when Elon, Elon, Elon Musk has something to say, everyone just love it. Big smile on their face watching TV. Oh, I love it. He's, he's, he's the cool billionaire. <laughs> you know, he's, you know. He is like the real Iron Man. I'll give him that. <laughs> you know. But all that shit, you know, he's, he's set up, man. He's yeah, set man. up. He so. didn't come up with the charagma in your brain all by himself. <laughs> you know. He just woke up one day and was like, you know, I'll be, you you know, know I'll be so cool. <laughs> Let me make this fucking brain interface technology fucking hell I like that no way man there's a bigger agenda amongst amongst all these things all right today what did Andrew takes every day is corruption all these things every aspect of it is going to be corruption and it's gonna it's not going to start with anyone at the bottom it's gonna start with people at the top right always that's how life works you know you, you go ahead right yep. you know I know some idiots might want to say shit like there's no head to a circle or whatever you're full of shit <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, you want to read this? You want to read this? Or read this? this is a Sarak 13 and 23. When the rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. They don't say shit. Let's hear what this man has to say. Because, you know why as well? Because they want his, They want what he has, man. They want all the women, to, all these fucking thotties to fucking flock to them. They want to have a Lamborghini so they can get more and more thotties around them and get all the attention and make everyone feel like I'm so cool in my fucking car that can get nudged thotties. and crutched and get fucked up. You know what I mean? You, you, oh, you, they want a big ass house for no fucking actual justified reason. They, they want. From having the thotties, isn't it? Yeah, like, you really think about it. A lot of it is that, man. It's you know, it, it is, it's really just for the thotties, man. So that's the title of itself. It's yeah. all for the thotties. It's all for the thotties, man. Maybe someone could do a response. Who knows? If they even brothers or the body actually watching this, man. Because a lot of our just now you said it, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But yeah, man, they, they want all this stuff so they listen to the guy with the money. So it's first says just chapter 4, verse 26 yeah. and 27. Yeah. yeah. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women. You know, so many have sinned for thotties, man. Yeah, man. Which Shame. is disgusting. Shameful. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
know, the other means is that her over there, that home. According to the scriptures, if you've slept with more than one man, then your husband, you know, which sex is marriage, you know, you become an adulteress, and therefore a harlot, a thotty. Mm -hmm. Right, so don't get offended by us <laughs> saying that you, that's a thotty if it's a thotty. Yeah, man. If you get offended, fuck off, man. It's in Sag 13 23, when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They extol it to the clouds. Because if Andrew Tate was talking about it like that, you, ha you hear what he says. But when we say it, you, you ain't trying to hear that because we don't have a Gucci fucking shirt on. All right, we, we don't have a really fast car and we don't have uh, we, we don't have a holes around a us all the time. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to go sit in VIP in, in a club. He actually has a mansion for authorities, doesn't he? Something like that. But or, I think there's actual women. But anyway, <laughs> actual women. <laughs> actual women. <laughs> there is women. Not authorities, actual women. <laughs> Because the women are, there isn't any actual women out there, man. <laughs> 13 and 23, continue on. It says, But if the poor man speak, they say, What fellow is this? Whose man is this? Who, who's this yeah, guy yeah, with yeah, his long yeah, arm yeah, on yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Right? And it says, And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Let's jump, let's stomp on his head. Right? That's, that's what they fucking, that's what they like, man. They don't give a fuck about you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because damn near every last one of us are broke. And, and if you ain't broke, if I may say, Israelite foreigners as well, just because you don't look like them, you know, there's something in your spirit. Yeah, man. It's a right. spiritual warfare. You have to, if you believe the Heavenly Father's in control of all of this, you know, but you think, oh, well, you know, this happens because, you know, maybe this brother, you know, oh, he looks like a, a Chinese man, so he's not going to catch persecution. No, it's spiritual, okay, man. You, you've inherited the, the curses, man. When shit hit the fan through your dad's, 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 so on and so forth, it went down, and now you're a, pro a product of it. it. Ain't just no coincidence, man. And then you can say there's some broke ass ease out there, yeah, because the curses are turning around and and yeah. and, and, and e, the, the, the elites don't give a fuck about the the, the peons, man. Don't give a fuck addiction. About. Yeah, yeah. Coming to them heavy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. But you were saying if you but and if you are broke, thank you, brother. If you're not broke, I was gonna say. If you're not broke. It's because you probably sold out. I say probably. It's because there might be a circumstance where you won the lottery. I get it, but the likelihood is not really that. The likelihood is because you sold out big time. You're heavy in the system. You're out there, like you know. You talk about when you, I can't remember exactly what it was, but when we're talking about some form of high education formally, you instantly your image is a shaved head, oh, shaved yeah, face, yeah, yeah, yeah. suit and tie. Okay, looking like a complete fucking flamer, man. Yeah, really? I was. I was. I'll, Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, really, you still are broke because he can just take it away from you. Yeah. Just one little mistake, one slip up of the tongue. Exactly. You know? <laughs> Good point. It's like I'm just saying about your home. You don't yeah, own your home, man. Him, man. Exactly. You don't own shit, man. You're owned by these fuckers, man. You assholes. Because you, you fucking, you gave your life to them to make money. You you so-called, you know, your Jay-Z's, your Kanye West. Your, 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 yeah. Oh, him, that fucking yeah, bitch ass motherfucker. I can't wait to. Cause he, cause people think that that Mayweather dude's a tough guy. That that Mayweather guy, he ain't no, he ain't no fucking tough guy, man. And if you don't believe it, just watch. <laughs> cause you're gonna see when shit hits the fan, that guy is gonna be one of the biggest pussies in the world, man. That little fucking piece of shit. And then you got you know, all see these how actors. You, if you can slip judgment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you can shell up and then. Oh, laser beam? No, son. I'm gonna yeah, fuck yeah, out yeah. of here, bro. You ain't gonna do shit, man. Some, man. <laughs> Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness. Delivereth from death. There it is. Exactly. Righteousness is what's going to deliver the elect, right? Because especially in Babylon, because like I love to hear it like that, and I love how you love that you know, the saying that Hosgabar said. Yeah, man. The only thing coming out of Babylon is the elect. Woo! Babylon is a huge place with so much, so much, man. But the only thing coming out is the true treasure, man. The true gem, which is the elect. That's it. Oh, try to Go. There you go. They're going to be polished like gold up in Babylon. And Lord willing, we're the number of the elect and we want to be polished like gold. And you know how we do that? It's not by doing nothing fucking crazy like what he wants you to do, like take, like, have surgery and have gold on your skin or some shit like that. Some outrageous shit. Or turn into, yeah, turn into gold, man. That's, he's probably going to, it's probably going to be fucking idiots like that, man. Like you got people like, um, hey, yo, son, I got my shin implants. I got full <laughs> gold now. Because motherfuckers already put on their teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well put on your bones and your fucking the rest of your bones because your teeth are a bone, right? And you know, there's fucking idiots that like that fucking guy, man, the one you, sh you showed us who made himself a dog. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, what the fuck? I couldn't believe that shit. The motherfucker was just a big ass dog looking thing, man. <laughs> that, that it's funny, but it's, it's funny because it's fucking hilarious, you know what I mean? It really was deceiving, too. 
you'd think it'd be an actual dog. Yeah. <laughs> if I see that shit chilling and it starts hey. going up his two feet. <laughs> Good revelation for without a dog. Oh, wait. <laughs> Race you. you think he was a dog. He is a dog. <laughs> Got a race it. Quick, uh, Proverbs 11 and 21. Though a hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, mm. but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. You know, so if you're not repenting, you you know joined on to this to this devil, you're gonna you know get punished along with him. Sorry, can I read it? Yeah, can. Yeah, I was just gonna say I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna start uh, at verse 13 of Revelation 22. Says, Excuse me. It says I am Alpha and Omega. Who said that? Yahweh Shai said that. Hey, and that's another thing of, of speaking speaking lies. Um, that bitch Nicki Minaj. In, in a remix of that song by ASAP Ferg, if you know that song, Plain Jane, um, she, there was a remix, and one of the lyrics she said is she called herself the Alpha and Omega and everything in between. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Full of shit, man. Yeah, disgusting assholes, man. They, 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 but that's that's what the so-called black woman thinks, man. The end of they think they're the fucking top, the top fucking number one god everyone needs to worship. Now it reads, this is uh, Revelation 22 and 13. I'm Alpha and Omega, and that's how shy. The beginning and the end, the first and the last. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. So there you go. The, those, the individuals are doing the commandments to the best of their ability, of course, okay? Because you cannot complete the law. You just cannot do it. But we can, of course, eat the whole roll in spirit, man, in sincerity and truth. And we must do that. If you want, if you, if you want salvation, if you want to leave, leave this place into the kingdom and not get caught up in the bullshit with the people of the world, and you gotta do, gotta do what the scripture says, man. This is one of the things it says. It says, Blessed are they that do his commandments. They may have right to the tree of life, right? And now it says, And may enter in through the, to the uh, to, uh, excuse me, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs, for without our dogs, and without go basically means outside. Without is that's what it means, like sometimes we'll say that. Right. There you go. There you go. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers mm. and murderers. And idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. You got, I don't need to read any more. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 10, and verse 9. If you, you mind getting us for food, it's it. Revelation 10 and 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, for it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Mm -hmm. right, so this truth, it's got a sweetness to it. You, know, you find out salvation, you find out about that you know, it's not for everybody, but it is for you. You find out your history, you find out why you're afflicted, you find out why we're poor, you find out why we catch hell, you know, all these things, it's comforting. Then you realize, well, shit, there's more, there's trials, there's tribulation. My family are going to come against me for it. My friends, my old friends are going to come up against me for it. You know, there's going to be certain persecutions about it. And also that last verse talking about thou should prophesy again. Yeah, this proves reincarnation. You know, because John the Revelator was, was an aged man at this point. You know, this has got to be, I think, around 90 AD, if I'm not mistaken. If I do, you brothers know. I wouldn't know. Lovely. No, I don't know. But he, he was a man up in age. You know, so when, when again, and there's no account of him going and prophesying again. Yeah, so what does that mean? He, he would have to come back. And that's where the prophecies have been revealed in this time, because the prophets are coming back. Right. And the spirit of the prophets was subject to the prophets. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go out speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Right, so the same thing, and what's, the, what's this bread, what's this roll that he's eating? You know, the, roll, the roll is not a bread roll, but it is a bread roll. You know, the roll is going into, I believe the word would be magala. Oh, the roll, roll. Yeah, yeah, volume, yeah, magala. And then, and then what is he eating? He's eating the, the word of the Heavenly Father. So that's that bread of life. Yahweh Shai said that he's, well, it says in Revelation 19 that he's the word of the Most High. And he himself said, I am that bread of life. So what is the it is a bread roll. It's not a roll. It's not a bread roll, but it is a bread roll. Verse 4. And he said unto me, 
Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech, of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. Right, but then it also talks about in Isaiah uh, 28, how in stammering lips and in another tongue we speak to these people. You know, we've been scattered, we're all among these different tongues. It tells you in Revelation 5 and 9, you'll be taken among from many people, many tongues, many nations. You know, so you're going to have, that's why you've got people speaking in tongues, there's a brother in London speaking in an Ethiopian dialect. You know? And one other brother spoke in Korean. He did a video. He said Korean. Korean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. I've seen, and I've even seen the people from the I, I would perceive they dwell in that region. You know, speaking and, and pointing to the name Yahweh Shai, and he's going through it with the Hebrew characters, and he's fully saying it like he's got a, a board behind him and everything. You know, so this truth is going out, man. This truth is going out, and that's that's a, that's a sign, that's a token of the end. Because this this is the gospel. Even no, things, sorry, go ahead, even things aren't as elaborate like the brothers in LA. GMS LA Ash, uh, they speak all the videos in Spanish now. People who all know Spanish. But that's that's a, that's a miracle. You know, the first the first powers to come was the in speaking in tongues. You know, in Acts the second chapter. Now it's not it's not deep to us. You know, because we're around Spanish. Well, in Babylon, people are around Spanish people. You know, Korean to us like oh shit, it's Korean. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a language. You know, it's all it's all really the same. English is is as you know amazing to, to someone else that doesn't understand it yeah, except it's become the world standard yeah. you know the, a, um, what do you call it a lingua franca why do they call it the lingua franca a l language of where of france which was in the middle ages that was the the old english if you like not old english i mean it like that but that was as under as commonly understood as english is today in the middle ages front french was like that all, all the top scholarly writings is in french you know if you look in any um like there's, there's one, you know, Scalagrim. You know, that's something we watch for entertainment or whatever. He was going through a manual and all the um, sword fighting styles of the Middle Ages times. They were, all those books were written in French. Oh, I, mean, that's what, I don't even know that book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the, the, main, the main languages was, was French. The main, the main, that's where you get the term lingua franca. I thought I told you that. I thought I told you that, That's where you get the term. That's where you get the term lingua franca because language French. That's all it means. It doesn't mean oh, you know, okay. global language. It just means language French. Because at one point, what was that? That's what I don't even know that. Fawada, brother. That's interesting, man. That's a video in itself as well, actually. Any precept? I don't have any. Let's keep pushing right, in this one. Uh, verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. They will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Right, so the, the Lord knowingly sent prophets. Now, this is talking to Ezekiel, but Ezekiel in this time is representative of the prophets. You know, so the Lord sent the prophets unto Israel, knowing they're, they're not going to listen to you. you know, but it's so the Lord can be justified in condemning and, and really bringing out that judgment upon them. You know, even, like, even the Muslims say that, well, the Lord, the Allah never condemned a nation without sending a prophet. You know, and that's, that's true, man. You know, it tells you as well in um, Jeremiah, is it Jeremiah 28, eh? Oh, I was actually about to bring that up. Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. <laughs> the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And what is pestilence going to do? It's going to plagues, okay? C-19. Yep. The, the ape thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. M MP. The prophet. The member of parliament. <laughs> the prophet. Which there a pestilence, man? Yeah, is there man. a plague on the earth, man? Yeah, That's man. why I presume yeah, to Obadiah. <laughs> Keep pushing. Yep, yeah, verse 9. The prophet which prophesied the peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh hath truly sent him. And if anyone is prophesying peace for this man and his system in this time, you're lying, man. You're a liar. You're a liar. The truth prophet, is not in you. There you go. You're pseudo. You're pseudo Angelos. He probably took the bag too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably took a heavy bag with that one, man. He's probably like, I will never ever accept that Jesus Christ is is, is for this thing. They just threw a bag of money. Uh, how, so how do I, you know, how do I start doing this? How, how do you want me to? Because that's that's what Jake's like, man. You throw money at Jake, all of a sudden, all his morals out the blood clot, man. He ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, and every and everyone, all these people in the world will do that, but our people are so much yeah, more. Because yeah, in general, yeah, yeah. you know, if if you're not broke, your cousin is. Yeah. If you're not broke, your auntie is. Yeah. You know, so then you then you um, I can't remember who was talking about this, but um, circ circumstantial poverty. 
you, know, you can get rich, but then, all right, this person needs help, this person needs help, this person needs help. So as a nation, you know, <laughs> as a nation, we never rise up like that. Because you know, we're never meant to, not on this side. Hey, I'm going to preach there for that. The book of John, chapter, this is what Yahweh Shai said, right? This is John, chapter 18. And I believe where we need to start is here, oh, verse, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. No, oh, my bad, I thought you were saying to me, sorry. No, no. Um, oh, no. No, it's okay, brother. John 18, here it is, sorry. John 18 and verse 36. Yahweh answered, My kingdom is not of this world. In fact, if you don't mind, I'm going to go further up a little bit to get the point. This is uh, John 18, I'm going to start, let's go straight to verse 33. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Yahweh and turned to him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Yahweh answered him, say, um, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell, tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thy own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Yahweh shall answer, My kingdom is not, excuse me, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants find. That's very, there you go. That, that should be enough to make you know. If someone's talking about peace of the way the, 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 the arrangement of government is right now, then they're a complete fucking liar. Because Yahweh shall clearly said it, man. I'll read it again. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. That I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. So it's now is the time for this man to have his peace. Now there's no prophesying peace because the next kingdom to come is the kingdom of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the Messiah of the scripture, and he's coming to put down all these other heathen nations' right. powers. Man. It's only going to be peace for the elect in that time. That's it. It's not even going to be peace for our nation. And not until we're on the other side. The elect. And if we take Babylon as a, a, a sample, a stratified sample you know, two thirds there's there's twice as many Israelites in Babylon are going to die than as make it that's a lot right so if we say that if we um, extrapolate is that the right word extrapolate that to the wider population now what you know a lot of a lot of it even tells you the world that this world has been made for the many but the one to come for a few so that should show you there's a lot of judgment that needs to go out. This is Isaiah 66, verse 15 and 16. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. So again, the slain shall be many. You all right, that's a lot. Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 8, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Can you go into that, brother? Yeah, read that again, please, sir. Verse 9, As an adamant, harder from the 8. Verse 8, Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. Right, so we, we, he's made us bold against these bold, wicked ninjas, stubborn. You know, Jake, oh, you can't tell me shit. No, you can't tell us shit, not about these scriptures. If you're not coming with the correct doctrine, you can't tell us. You can't tell us about white Jesus. Yeah. You can't tell us about this being for everybody. You can't tell us about the Bible full stop. Don't tell us about the Most High. You can't tell us nothing, man. This is uh, 2nd Hedges chapter 2 and verse 47. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of the Most High. And this is talking to, when this is when Ezra asked, Who is this person in I mean, this no, vision? Crowns. Yep. Who's, who's, Do you who's mind crowned? if we do not actually? Yeah, why not? Look, can we finish this first? Yeah, yeah, yeah why not? Why not? Good. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Right, so you, you stiff necked Benjamites. We're stiff necked Benjamites. Right? For this truth. And that's how we ought to be. We can't be. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 hear, I hear you brother, yeah, 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 no, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, yeah, keep doing your thing, yeah, black power, we're not all about that shit, yeah, you keep doing your wickedness, you're gonna die, yeah, this is the doctrine, this is what it says, it says the, the Lord's coming back to do great judgment, it says America's going out by fire, it says all you heathen nations that had us in slavery, you're going in slavery, and we're not budging on it, here you go, verse 9, as an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead? Right, so, tr so try that. Try and, you know, <laughs> you know, try and, try it. <laughs> try it, brother. Try it. Test our spiritual gangster, as Deacon Hagar would say. Fear them not, 
neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So why would you why would you fear a wicked man, a sinner, a guy that the Lord is just going to strike down and smite? We don't fear that. Yahweh I said, fear not him that can kill the body, but fear the heavenly father that can destroy both soul and body in hell. Because he is, is the heavenly father he, vessel that he uses as a, as a weapon, as a sword. So He's you a minister. To, yeah. Oh, you hear that ATT? <laughs> yep, yep, Romans 13. There you go. Get your doctrine right. <laughs> the heavenly father, he's the one who will be in ultimate control no matter what. So you're supposed to fear him because then... That's you know if you fear the heavenly Father, you do His laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You you know you you, you hearken to His word, and the Most High is going to protect you from the sword. But if you don't, that's when the sword comes on you. So it's really the heavenly Father you're supposed to fear, man. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no man in this flesh that can touch you unless the heavenly Father sanctioned it. Yep. Yahweh Shai said it best. He said, "Not one sparrow can fall out the sky unless the heavenly Father sanctioned it." Yep. You know how small a sparrow is? It's a tiny, tiny little bird, right? Even down to the insect. Yep. Like these tiny, tiny little things, all these things being micromanaged. Right, so we, do, we don't worry about that. Yeah, man. That's really not in the forefront of our mind. No, oh, man. Never mind even do anything. They can't even say anything to us, man. Yeah, the uh, uh, tongue, the, your adversaries can either gain, say, nor resist. Oh. Oh, we. Let's finish this and I'll get that. Ezekiel 3 and 9. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not. Neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart, and hear with thine ears, mm -hmm. and go and get thee to them of the captivity. Right, who's of the captivity? In this time it's us. In, in that time it was Israelites. In this time it's Israelites. Right, so we're getting, you know, and these, this word's going out, man. So them in captivity, them that are bound up, primarily we're bound in this flesh, these chains of darkness, we're also in the captivity to this man. And so what about them in captivity? And go get them, uh, get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people. Ezekiel was an Israelite, so his people are Israelites. And speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Right, so either way. Either way. Because is it is it in here that it talks about um yeah, verse seventeen. Let's skip down a few verses. Verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right, a watchman sounds the alarm, sounds the trumpet. A trumpet was an was an ancient alarm. Or an ancient yeah, burglar alarm. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And you, you also had certain trumpets for certain holy days. Let me, let me not be unclear about that. That's why it says in First uh, Corinthians 14, if a trumpet are playing uncertain sound, you know who, sh who shall be f who shall fear? Paraphrasing. You know because certain ones you'd have right. Do -do -do -do, this is the holy day. Do -do -do -do, this is a, a war. Do -do -do -do, this is a different celebration or a, you know a, a positive or a negative. Right, right. Yeah, but so one trumpet or one ram's horn, you know, could play many different sounds. You'd have yeah. someone that was skilled at that. And yeah. that was their, you know, their office. Yeah. And that's, so this, if I can just, yeah, just make a point. This is why when people say shit like, uh, you guys say the same thing again and again. Well, yeah, we teach the Bible. We don't teach out of the book of Enoch, which isn't really the book of Enoch. We don't teach out of the so-called book of Joshua, which, because it isn't that. We don't yeah, go into the Quran and start talking. I think it's the Quran and the doctrine. We don't go into and show you a video of a so-called pastor of a Christian church unless we're rebuking him. Yeah, you see, we're, we're, we're te of course we teach the same thing, you fucking idiots, man. Same with, thing with the Quran. Maybe we're going to the Quran to show you that in the Quran it says you can right. beat your wife. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, for his blood will I require at thine hand. Right. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. Right, because he was warned. The trumpet was blown, but they didn't want to hear it, man. But that's our people, man. They just don't want to hear it. They don't think it's possible. They got they're so heavily caught up in Eve's philosophy and their, their own, which is really when I say their own, a lot of it is they they're trying to pretend it's their own, but they're just copying E in some way or another, man. Okay. A lot of these people do that, man. A lot of these people in Islam do that shit, man.
God, their own little philosophies, their own way of thinking of this is how I see God, or the way to really see God. If you think about it, it's like this. Andrew Tate was doing that shit. Dude, Man. There's a woman on, on my job, 18, and it's always like, oh, you know, you're married. You know, because a, a lot of the people I work with are from these different countries, and they have a more traditional so-called culture. You know, so she's like, oh, no, I'm too young. Everyone's like looking like, what the fuck? What's she on about? You're nearly too old. You know, because in their culture, they might get married at you know, 15, they might get married at 14. You know, and that's, that's two, two families coming together or whatever. But in this society, you know, you wait, you get married when you're 55, you know, and you decide it yourself. When in their culture, you know, right, your father picks, right, that's a good man for you. You know, and you'd accept it. You know, but that shows you, and this, these are some so-called devout Muslims. You know, all dressed in the, in the garments and everything. But the mindset is not adorned in that same same light garment. Yep. Right, that's fully it's adorned. Front. Yeah. So big time front. A lot of these guys and these other doctors, they really are big time just fuck they're just putting up a front, man. I see him a lot, man. I fucking I'm around them sometimes, unfortunately. I have not as much now at all for a while now. But when I was younger I was around these fuckers a lot, man, and now I've grown up and I've I've like grown realistically in spirit rather than just simply growing. You start to realise these motherfuckers don't actually don't really have Shit, they don't have strength, knowledge, they don't got nothing. They don't, they're not really about what they're just, they're just, because everything is comfortable and relaxed right now. I'll let you know, to a degree. Because of course, things are getting real hard and heavy. But the, the, the thing is, is that they're still able to do what they do. There's no financial crisis at all time high where they're struggling to pay for things, they're struggling to get food. When that happens, man, they're not going to be talking yeah, about I mean, their idols. Getting there. They're certainly getting it's there. Certainly, yeah. if, I'm not, if, you're, if you're a so called working class, you know, if you're if you're on that that sort of level, it's fucking affecting you. Trust me. Trust me. And listen, man. This whole thing about the the worshiping their god, man. When that shit hits the fan, man, you really think they're gonna be like reverencing their idol the same way, acting like everything's all cool? They're gonna start, you know, romanticize their thoughts. No, they're gonna be shitting themselves. They're gonna be so scared, man. Fear is gonna come across this world so heavy that people ain't got time for that no even more. Like right now, Jake is like, I ain't got time for the Bible. I ain't time. People I've heard brothers out here, man. You know, and maybe you watch this, you know what you fucking are, man. And maybe he's, maybe he's got on my channel, I don't know, I remember, maybe I, he asked and I gave it. You know, you know you're talking about your Christianity or whatever. Man, fuck you, man. You don't even want to hear the Bible like that, man. You don't really want to hear it. So you're full of shit when shit is the fan. You ain't really got it in your spirit to, to actually be humble unless the Lord puts on your spirit, which you never know. And I hope so, of course. You know, if you're Jake. If you're E, then fuck you. But <laughs> if you're an Israelite. Of course, they want you to repent. But we know what our people are like, and we know what the scripture says because the Heavenly Father has blessed us. And what does it say, man? It makes it clear that our people, man, the majority of us are through, man. Just fucking through. This is. Uh, we we'll finish that. Yeah. Finish it. Okay, I'll read verse 19. Can I read 19 and 20? Yeah, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah. Remember that delivered a soul, you know, like it's a, it's a, it's not a light thing to not warn someone when shit hits the fan. You should feel that way too, man. Like shame on these fucking idiots, you know, like that. Only scoff, and that's it. They don't teach or anything. If you're going off, but you taught, at least I, I can at least be like he's teaching, he's trying, you know. And what happened? Hey, what happened with uh, with the brothers? Don't have they turn around? Um, is it Quam? Oh Kwame yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Kwam and Awa. I didn't forget his name. Just gonna clarify. It, uh, Kwam and Awa. Uh, was it Kwam who said it? Yeah, yeah, it must be because they teach together. Brother so, Kwam and Brother Awa. Uh, if you're watching this, you know we 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 we've noticed you. We've been noticing you. <laughs> like whenever we you know uh, we saw a video, I saw videos of you going out. One of the things I always would say was, you know, at least he's going out and teaching, man. I can't really say nothing because he's constantly putting work out. And what happened? The Lord clearly, clearly. <laughs> The Lord has given you a spirit now where you see the 100% truth, which shows you the Lord is not going to just look past you if you're going out doing the works, man. You see, when you really show sincerity, the Lord is going to bless you, man. And, you know, Barak a thumb to you, Achim. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Barak a thumb to you, Achim. You know, for, for pushing pushing the word out. You know, much love unto you and, and if you much blessings, you, man. Can't, that's it, that's what I'm going to say. Sonaki. No, that's what I was going to say. Go ahead. No, and if it, it's, it's not an easy thing to say shit. You know, I've been on record publicly going off. Yep. And then saying, you know what? Let me let me redact that. Yep. Let me let me teach the correct thing. You know, and I've I've been watching the vi videos of certain not not every single one. You know, but I've seen certain videos. I've watched partial videos. I've watched video. You know, 
and you're, you're giving double honors, you know, you're bringing it out correctly, you know, and that's good, man. That's that's what we're, and we're not going to turn around. And go, oh my gosh, you brothers turned around. That's wicked, man. We told you you was going off. You know, we're going to say, you know, the water you how about Hashem you how Yeah, man. Because again, we want our people to repent. Can I get this first? Is that okay? What is it? Would you say you can? What do you got? Uh, that's why I've got anything to repeat. Bring it up, brother. <laughs> Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Right. Which you have showed toward his name. Yeah. In that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. So you go minister to the saints who are the Israelites. Okay, so only like minister unto them. You're serving, you're serving uh, the, the elect when, you do, when you're preaching out this word. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he's, um, you know, he's, uh, him, him, brother Awa and brother Kwam, you know, they, they, they've they been teaching for, for a while and whatnot. And as time went by, they've turned around. What does that show you, man? It shows the most high. He's blessing them daily for, for, for ministering and, and doing their best, man, doing whatever they can. So once again, Baraka Tham to Yaki, man. Much love, man. All right, now we need Hebrew E, Psalm 51, come into this proper doctrine. Stop, man. real quick. Later, on, what, what, are we, what are we talking about? This is it my tripping? I remember we were talking about him because I didn't, I didn't tell you yet. I told him, but I actually bumped into some, man. Mm. And we, uh, I'm going to, you know, you know, this already, like, we were talking about, of course, you know, because it was you. <laughs> we are talking about, you know, how it, the, the Haragma, man, it's so clear. Did right? you say it? He said, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna cross that. He does the typical thing, man. You know, he does the typical. You do the typical thing. But listen, man. You know, I'm starting to. I'm starting to not really get too convinced that you guys really believe what you believe in, man. I'm starting to kind of think, man. You guys need to get scared a little bit more. When shit is the fan, I think you guys are gonna sh fucking shit yourself as well, and things will turn around. I think Hebrew I so. E, Hebrew E. You know, correct me on the comment board if I'm mistaken, but I believe you teach the MOTB he is what we teach. He does. It he is. does. I even said yeah, that. Yeah, I said yeah, you wouldn't yeah. even believe in. What the fuck do we believe in? And no, I also want to say, if you're sorry, stood next to teaching him. Teaching with him, sorry, stood next to him, teaching with him. You need to be teaching the same thing, man. Yeah, you man. know, so you either need to set up your own camp you know, and teach your new doctrine that no one else believes in when the scripture talks about a body, or you need to become unified yeah. in doctrine. Yeah, can I just also say something real quick? I just want to say on camera record that I don't actually hate you anymore, Yehuda. Actually, I don't have the hate for you. You know, he's still, he's still going off, you know, for a bit of a, <laughs> a ticket sometimes. But, you know, I don't hate you, man. I don't, you know, and I, I do hope that you turn around. That's what I was gonna say. What you said. This is Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Right, and in that time it was applying to the, the Jews that were very zealous for the law and everything like that, but they didn't believe in Yahweh Shai. Right now we apply it to them that believe in Yahweh Shai, allegedly, or believe in Yahusha or Yeshua, whatever they say. You know, but they've not come into the full doctrine. You know, even a, a guy that says, oh, Jesus Christ. You know, we can apply it to that. Because unless you have this uh, this absolute doctrine, you know, you're not, you're, not, you're not playing with the full deck. Right. Some people might actually start, you know, going to the laws and really sincerely looking at it, but they don't have the true name. No, but you know, that's all point. Sincerity, you know, is going, it's going to blossom into the truth. That's what we truly believe. And we see it. We see it happen, man. We see it happen, and it's it's a beautiful faith booster too when it happens. This is Luke chapter twenty-one, and verse twelve. But before all these, talking about before all these things happen, right at the end. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I'll give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. <laughs> so you're not meant to be writing letters, right? This is what I'm going to say to Boris Johnson. All right, if Joe Biden gets me, yeah, this is what I'm, I'm going to cuss him out. I'm going to say, you can't even put a sentence together, mother. You know? You're not meant to be thinking about, with all seriousness, you're not meant to be thinking about, if the police come, this is what I'm going to say, this is what I'm going to do. You know, because there's going to be a persecution, but it's going to be of the spirit. And in that moment, that's how you will get the correct thing to say. Right. This is uh, Acts 17 and 11. These, uh, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Yeah, sure, I got you. This is uh, Acts 17 and 10. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. So the Bereans, the, those in Berea, were more noble than the Thessalon Thessalonians. Yep. But they received the word with all readiness of mind. They were ready for it, man. Which is so beautiful, really, to hear, man. And searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Look, they were, they were, they were, 
you know, scripture says, let every man be persuaded in their own mind. So we're not telling fully you, persuaded. yeah, fully persuaded in their own mind. Like when you do, in, in fact, research, go through scriptures and stuff and, and make sure that what's being taught is indeed, you know, good. Like what I did earlier when I, I paraphrased um, Leviticus 25, 44, this way they went and checked it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. And then just kept pushing. So that's what we need to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Elder Postar says that, go he, 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 I believe he literally said, don't just, I don't even want to actually quote him, but I believe he was saying, don't, like, basically along the lines of, don't just hear what he says and believe it. Go ahead and look at it. Yeah, because he'll, he'll cuss out Nate, Nate worshippers or whatever. Because they, they don't research. If they researched it and went into the word, they would have these questions. Right. Now, what, this haragma, it doesn't say anything about an embargo. So, what's going on? And we're in the, uh, you know, technology age where you can easily access information. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that, that goes for everything, man. You know, for the, for the herbs and how to, how to heal stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. I recently watched your repost. Oh, right. Yeah. Herbs for healing. That was, that was fire, man. Right. Yeah, you, you put that in the chat yesterday, it was yeah, spiritual, yeah, 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 if I'm not mistaken, did. didn't uh, Elder Post Baha actually do a video where he's talking about like a... Oh, the elixir. Yeah, 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 I think that was that came up the same day. Mm. This, sure was after. this is uh, uh, Daniel chapter 12, and I'm, I'm going to go straight to verse 3. I don't know if Neve is coming. No, it's not. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. That's a light. Is being shined within the elect, man. For thou, old Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many, sh yep, yep. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And people are getting loads of knowledge about how fucked up he is as well. Does that mean that they're gonna turn right? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Does that mean that they're gonna turn around and and, 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 and you know actually <laughs> submit to the Lord? You know, not no, that's the only the elect will. Does that mean they're gonna? Hey, does that mean they're gonna try to be revolutionary like black power? Yeah. A lot will actually. Berets a lot of and sunglasses. Yeah, a lot of LA, man. At camp. A lot, a lot of these jakes will. A lot of them will try overthrow the government and get absolutely fucked up, man. Okay, I'm not trying to, you know, kick you when you're down when I say that, but you're an idiot for trying that shit. All right, everyone like Andrew Tate. Is no, a, we, we is are a trying to kick you. We are trying to kick you. Spiritually kick you. Kick exactly. your ass. Get some yeah, sense yeah, yeah, into yeah, yeah. you, man. That's what we're doing. Yeah, put, put, yeah, yeah. What, what the we're fuck? not. We're not trying to. We're trying to bring you up, though. That's yeah, the difference. We're kicking you down so we'll be able to pick you up. Right yeah, now, yeah. I, can't, I can't really reach you, brother. Oh, okay. Just get, get the fuck no, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Up, <laughs> there you go. That makes more sense. Because even Andrew Tate was saying he's a what? He's a world class fighter and shit. If there's ten men with machetes, that's violence. That's different. I need to get the fuck out of there. But you Jakes, you don't think like that. You think you're Superman, bro. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And j yeah, j on only in, uh, yeah. <laughs> Second Thessalonians. Yeah, it started verse three. three. All right. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a, there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right, and who's that man of sin? That man is E man. So he the, it was prophecy like I can't remember which brother said it. Yeah, but a lot of information on E is coming out, knowledge going to and fro. Well, that's that man of sin being revealed. So the day, that day shall not come. If we read verse two, it tell, in fact, you don't have to. It tells you that the day of Hamashiach is at hand. It says the day of Christ in English, the day of Hamashiach is at hand, right? So that day shall not come except they come and fall in the way first, which is the word apostasia, which is referring to what event? It's falling away. It's yeah, yeah. 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 So it's referring to 70 AD, so we fell away from our land and in, in turn we fell away from our culture. You know, we fell away from our our language, you know, and, um, and many, many other things, you know, at, at different at different stages as well. Verse 4, who opposeth and exalt him, exalteth himself above all that is called the most high. This is what the man of sin does. Or that is worshipped, so that he, as the most high, sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself. That he is the most high. Right, well he's not. He's he's perceived he's um pushing out that image that he is, he's portraying himself as such. Right, that other people may perceive him as such. And uh, you know the, the world does whether they like to admit or not. I was thinking about that as well actually before we did come, man. Our people like our people and the rest of the world, man, they, they try to pretend that, they, that he's not their power, but then you hear the fucking shit they say that yo, where we've progressed they just, especially when they say we. Why are you saying fucking we man? What the fuck have you done? But you'll say We've progressed so much in science, we can get a bone and know what the fucking thing looks like outside. I said, go on then. We, we, <laughs> we? we've done it, so go and show us. Show <laughs> <No>. us. <laughs> <laughs> idiots, man. Fucking idiots. 
devious. Big time, big time fucking deception, man. This world. That's Once again, I want to say how I, I said it because I like the way I said it. I'll be honest. The world is plagued with with lies and treachery, and that plague is very contagious. So you always got to keep watch, man. You can easily, you can easily, you know, trickle down on you. Just like it, um, what do you call it? Like like Obi Wan Zakhbar was saying about the thing, like like the, con the concept in Spider Man Three. It, a little bit of that little tar thing came on him, and it just consumed him, and he just, right. he just had this prideful spirit on him. He's a whole other man. Nobody could even recognize who he was. I don't, he didn't even know who he was anymore. Right, and that tar is, is money, man. Jake gets a little bit of that money. He can't touch me, nigga. Goes to the head, really. Yeah, man. Went straight to his head. Like, you know, Dana White was talking about Hamza, right? He used to always keep wanting to fight, fight. You know that Russian guy who keeps fucking winning? Hamza, oh, yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, that guy, man. He keeps well, keep fucking people up, right? Well, guess what, man? Now he's got money, he's been slowing down a bit. See what happens, man? No matter how much you think, you're, it's all about the fight game. It's all tough. These fuckers are all about money, man. Go ahead, though. Is it one? No. Verse five. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And this is his time. This is, this is his time. This is his little season to rule pursuant to Revelation 20 and 4. And this is his time to get revealed and to get exposed. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Right, and he will be taken out of the way. By fire, by chariots. And fire is coming from the chariots, fire is coming from the nukes. He's got all manner of, all manner of, you know, upheaval, sedition. Everything that's about to happen is happening for your destruction. We, why are we going through hell? It's for your destruction. We're going through that the Lord may have a witness against you. This is how you treat the apple of my eye. Like you're going to get fucked up. Man. Big time, man. You know, this is the book. Of, okay, go ahead. One of the biggest lies, you know, the, you know, the white Jesus <laughs> iconoclasm. Yeah, that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. It is. You get empowered up blasphemy. The angels of fat Edomite babies. That's a ridiculous one, man. I actually don't even know where that even come from, you know? Like, where that has any parallel or anything? It's, it's, hella, it's Hellenistic. It's fucking weird, bro. Send everything to hell. You know, some of us people still believe <laughs> that up until right now. Yep. And then you'll say you don't believe, then you go up into that whole temple where it shows us images. Do you think you should say some or, like, separate from people who go off? Damn near every so called black household that has a, an end of that's running it is gonna have. A so-called black woman that's running it is gonna have that white Jesus, white Jesus and the apostles and a woman, right? Which there was no woman at the Last Supper, no women, no woman. A prefect. Go ahead. This Acts yeah, chapter, Acts chapter seven, verse forty-eight. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, yep, as saith the prophet. prophet. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. Yep. What house will ye build me? Right. Saith the Lord. Or what is the place of my rest? Right. You know, trying to limit the Lord to just, you know, place of worship. And the truth is not in these churches. It's not. That's not where, you know, the Lord is dealing. You know, you spend millions, you know, building all sorts of, you know, mega churches. You know, and the spirit's not in there. Exactly. TV Jakes, etc. I remember. I think I mentioned this again. I mentioned. Uh, so I mentioned this before. I mentioned it again. Um, I remember my dad was showing me his, this, there was like a mosque built and I was like, oh look how beautiful this mosque is, look how like everything he does. And I remember thinking like, like, I don't remember if I even said it, I, I may have just like gave him, like looked at it and just kind of like, just shook my head or whatever. But what I was thinking at least was how much fucking money did it take to exactly. build that fucking thing. Could distribute it, there's a lot of these guys who brought that doctrine, they ain't got peas man. Who, who hop in that mosque thing, that he's very specific sect. Hopping in that mosque. <laughs> and the Taj Mahal as well. That spent a lot on I think in India hmm. yeah I'm not sure I can't remember exactly the history of that I, I believe it was for a man very specific nobleman or something like that yeah my mate Todd I believe so. yeah I watched the documentary <laughs> my man it. Todd a while ago but last name Mahal <laughs> shall I read this or yeah, yeah. second Moses chapter 2 this is very this is beautiful man second Moses chapter 2 verse 38 I'm gonna start quite high up Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Which, which is the, wedding, the true wedding feast. Yeah. You know, is our marriage, our betrothal into Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shaiman. 
Right. Marriage is suffer of the Lamb. That's what it's pointing out. That's what we're doing now. We're going out to the highways and bidding to, uh, bidding um, uh, the bid elect. to the marriage. Yeah, bidding to the marriage. Those inquire who's worthy and bid them to the marriage. Mm-hmm. Right. Not everybody's worthy. Right? Not every people will think, oh, you go to the hood. Bid every single jet to the marriage. I mean, sh- shouldn't that be obvious? If you're if you're getting if you're getting a marriage ceremony, ceremony, do you want everyone in the world to come? <laughs> do you want your neighbors you're going to fucking talk to to be there? Fuck no, man. You call hey, what do you call those people? Hey, what do you call those people? You call them gate crashes, don't you? Wedding mm. crashes, great. Yeah. Wedding crashes or some shit like that. Because yeah. hey, because if you didn't come through the door, the same as a thief and a robber, man. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter two and verse thirty nine, which had departed from the shadow of the world. All right, these are people who have departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. The Lord is going to bless the elect, man. Don't let anyone fucking tell you that the, the blessings are of this world. This world is fucking nothing. Nothing, man. When you see the kingdom, you will laugh at the riches of this world. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Legit, man. Like, cause I, like, I, I you say, you, ni- you niggas really lost this whole blessing for this. For this. Are you crazy? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> the com- complete defiled state of this earth. And now, don't get me wrong, your know, nature, the trees and everything like that is beautiful. I was going to say it. But when, when you come to every, everything past that, and this is in its defiled state, it's beautiful. Imagine the kingdom. Yeah, man. Exactly. You're going you're gonna to sell out for this shit. For FRNs, your know, money, a uh, house that a next man can come and take, a woman that a, ne- <laughs> a man doesn't even have to come and take, she'll throw herself at, you know, children. But want to probably join up into this man's system because they don't know anything else. You know, they, they've not been brought up in the way of faith. Yeah. They're thinking in a very distorted, disoriented right, right, mindset. Right, right. They're going, and you know, it's just like Andrew, is Andrew Russo? And, Andre Russo? Probably Andrew Tate. No, no, <laughs> Andre Russo is the guy who was getting interviewed and he was talking about how he used to chill with the Rockefellers and he used to tell him things. And they asked him, what do you think about women's lib and all that? Women's liberation. And he, and he said something like the general fucking idiot would say. And then he, was, he laughed at him. Right, the Rock, or Rothschild, the Rockefeller, one of them dudes laughed at him, and he was, and he said, "We did it so the half, the the half, the other half, of the population could pay taxes, and the state could be the parents. So basically, they would make, they basically wanted to do it so 100 percent the children would be indoctrinated. Okay, but on top of Andrew Tate, <laughs> that that dude was actually saying um, how like yeah, the education, he's talking about how the education system is is certainly corrupt. You know what I mean? And you know. But let's be real, like, does he really know the bigger picture? Of course not, because he doesn't have this truth. And I was actually going to say, you know what, we're not saying don't love your little blessings, because I actually feel blessed. We're actually right next to a rugby field. I, you know, it's a blessing that we have posts stood up, measured out, we've got lines here, because then we can, you know, play whatever, you know, football. <laughs> we can do we can, we can do what the fuck we, wanna, we can do here for fun. And we've got, like, trees around you, us, sorry, trees around us, looks beautiful from there. Look, uh, when, when you go far away, and you can see like, those are the woods there. It looks beautiful, but that is nothing compared to the kingdom. And it's not something that we should be cleaving to and embracing forever. Like we must, we must really love this place. And this whole, this whole fucking earth has got tarmac, concrete everywhere. It fucks up your knees. Yeah, you, know, you try walking down a hill for an extended period of time, you'll feel that shit, man. Yeah, We're man. not meant to be walking on stuff like that. Yeah, bro. Well, playing basketball's fucked up my feet on that court, man. I feel like I feel like I need to take longer breaks and stuff. Fuck, it's fucking us. And because we already have defiled bodies. Now we've got to make them worse and shit with this fake food and this fake floor and fake fucking shit. Even yeah. the conventional shoes that we wear. Today. Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking yeah. horrible for our feet. They're horrible, man. Got us having a heel boost and tight toes and shit. That's fucking up. That's basically a, how'd you say it? Like a... Retardation. I was going to say a, like a watered down version of the Lotus shoes that these Moabites used to wear. Where they, they're really mm. tight shoes and they used to fuck up your feet like that. <laughs> they're a watered down version of that. But, but you Jakes don't want to fucking hear that, man, because you love your Jordan collection, you fucking bitch-ass ninjas. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 2 and verse 40. And it says, Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. And being clothed in white is representative of being that chaste virgin to the Lord. Ooh, and I, m- I remember El Apostle Howe was going into, into the how the, the, the white garments and whatnot. That word is actually talking, that's not necessarily just white. It's like a... a Beaming light kind of white. Yeah, glowing. Yeah, like a yeah, thank you, glowing kind of white. That's an easier word to say. <laughs> then it says um in verse forty one, the number of thy children whom thou long- longest for is fulfilled, but seeks the power of the Lord. That thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. The beseech goes into like request excuse me, requesting the power of the Lord. Yes, please. So this is the word from a beseech. 
from the Etims, commonly known to you people in the world as the Etim online. <laughs> right, so this is the word beseech. It says, Besechen. Oh, no, it doesn't. It says, it says Besechen. To entreat, beg urgently from Old English, Besechen, be, to be, and seek, in contrast to the simple, in which the northern seekers, this, this is all nonsense, deny, dispute, what? Beseech, to seek, the word seek. Second, go in search of, go in search of, quest of, strive for, try to attain. Let's read that again then. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. So go in search of, quest for, strive for, try to attain. Right? And, then it's, and it says, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed, you know, made holy. Right? Like it says in, in the other one, Pala, Lord's Prayer, uh, hollow be thy name. That's what it says in English. Right? Mm -hmm. Holy separate, sanctified. Yep. There it says, I Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people. A great means what? Abundant. It says, whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with song. Which also cuts the idea, oh, there's only 144,000. Right. Because right. in that afterwards it tells you, you know, after this number 144,000 in the ninth verse of Revelation 7. It tells you, you know, a great number which no man could. Yeah. Well, you, hold on, we just got a number of all these people. Now we can't number them. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Now it says, uh, in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the all the rest, and upon every one of their heads that he set crowns. And this is Yahweh Shai, okay. And 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 he said he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marvelled at greatly. Right, he was marveling at this. Who is this man with who's, who's putting crowns on people's head? And not just and, and he wasn't just looking in his vision at any kind of crown, an incorruptible crown. Now it says, So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? Now here you, here you go. He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. And how is that again? Uh, how is that done again? Uh, didn't I read the scripture? Oh man, geez. Oh yeah, Revelation 22, right? So blessed are those that keep the commandments that they have eternal life or tree of life. Forgive me, I can't even paraphrase it, but you get the point. Put, put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Have done what? Have confessed the name of the Most High. Name. Hebrew. Yep. Psalm 51. Yep. Now they crown and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them? And giveth them palm in their, uh, palms in their hands. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High. Whom they have confessed in the world they have confessed that's the elect man right they then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord so stiffly man stiffly for the true name of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai not saying you don't really know it could be this it could be that I'll get back to you on that none of that I <laughs> ask you need to actually get on the you need to get on the list say again that's how these Buddhists are teaching about things. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run, runneth into it and is safe. Right, the name. So the true name. So that's how you get that safety. Whenever, when all hell breaks loose, the, 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 the only the true power is going to be able to save you, man. All right, everyone in these other doctrines, they're going to see judgment and they're not going to have protection. Is it? This is Isaiah 19, the starting at verse 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So you're going to see all these people bug out. It talks about how it will fail. This is Isaiah 19 and verse 16. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and they shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the hour of hosts which he shaketh over it and now contrary to the the image pushed out you know these like lara crofts and all these you know, action women you know, which is a complete complete even if you see you know well trained and women that have been disciplined in a certain field nine times out of ten if you've ever done some research go look it up you know female police officers when a gun is drawn or something like that is often the men and the males that have that you know, that spirit to go on and you can say all you people in the world believe in evolution you know you you actually believe that you evolved from a from a place that women physically couldn't do that but men physically could so you would have to say oh is we're biologically predisposed to that 
If you people actually believe in evolution, it's an easy way to walk you down into that, you know, the gender role argument. You know, we believe it comes from, it comes from creation, but we can use your own shit against you and, pr and prove you wrong on your own shit. Even your own shit doesn't make sense to yourself. Yeah, this is like we were talking about last, last night. night right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we're talking about the word dinosaur, right? It goes into Terrible a dreadful lizard. lizard. Yeah, Terrible a fearful lizard, yeah. lizard. But then you, now you've turned around and because you've shown us these fucking fake ass things of these T-Rex looking all crazy reptilian like shit. And then you fucking say that, oh, the, but, you know, dinosaurs, they could have had feathers. What kind of reptiles fucking feathers, man? What the fuck are you on about, man? It's all confusion. And then you'll say stuff and we're talking about how, like a, 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 this concept of Darwinism. You would originally basically state that some any form of so-called you know, melanated features it's going contrary to the evolution it's backwards basically right but then what do you say people who um who are so-called dark skin basically they don't have neanderthal dna well then now that's contrary see you're all over the fucking place man yeah that was it that was it allegedly um, pure african whatever that means don't have neanderthal dna which then what do you mean the kushites you know arabian looking kushites <laughs> Africanus ice. What do you mean? You mean the so called Negro, man? Yeah, how it is, man. Oh, I'm done here. Well, why, why didn't. Because it, it, all, all those different you know, fossils you find, they're just different men. Just different type of men, different. If you, if you took the skeleton, it, you did this, you did, you did do this. You know, this is why you believe we, uh, evolution, if, if we all came from Africa and we all evolved to have lighter skin or whatever. You're basically saying that the, the so-called black man is underdeveloped, you know, or is a prototype. Now, if you take the skull of different so-called races, you know, different seed lines, you're going to get different things, and it varies even within that. You know, right. but there are drastic di differences between certain lineages. So that's all you've got. Right, man. And, it, and why don't you have any transitional fossils, man? No, we don't actually... And sorry, go ahead. No, why don't you have transitional fossils that can say, right, it used to be a fish, now it's a monkey. Now in the middle, we have a funky <laughs> or a mish, <laughs> you know? Where this is this is when it, a fish was just turning into a monkey. Right. It's a fish with a tail and it's grown fur. Why do you have that? You know, and it, and it, if it's if it if it's actually something you can prove, it should be according to you. It should be observable, replicable, and repeatable. Now, if you if you can't um, if you don't have the empirical evidence to be able to analyze in a human life that lifespan because it lasts so long, it can't be proven. How can that be proven? Now that doesn't make sense according to your own methodology you know apply it, it doesn't make sense yeah. go on uh, yeah i was just gonna say like uh, th remember that guy who beat oh uh, david hay beat that really freaking big ass guy he beat him for the for one of the titles he was a neanderthal <laughs> <laughs> he was if you look at it one of the things i know it's his skull he's got like a different shaped skull like his bones just stick out like differently here mm -hmm. like you can kind of see it in him you're telling me his skull is going to be the same as mine? If you saw that skull, you might have been, oh, that's that's probably an ape. You probably would say that shit, man. But that's just, that's just a big dude, man. You know what I mean? And then, you know, they, they could easily lie about those things, really. Because metamorphosis is a thing. This guy's wiser than Daniel, man. Yeah, man. Uh, a metamorphosis is a thing, right? Right? Well, actually, amphibians go through where they um, they have a cycle where they do actually change in some way or another. Like, they, they first, they, first they, a frog will be like a tadpole. They'll have gills. And then it'll, it'll change up and it'll be a fucking frog. Metamorph metamorphosis, yep. an etymal line, change of form or structure, action or process of changing in form, originally yep. especially by witchcraft. And form goes Ooh. into, <laughs> there you go, uh, form goes into the fashion of something, the scheme of something. I've got a video on my channel about the word scheme, the, the way something <laughs> just is, you know, the, the actual fashion of it, man. Go ahead. La from Latin, metamorphosis, from Greek, metamorphosis. A, transform, a transforming, a transformation from metamorphin to transform, to be transfigured, to change, change form. Right. But guess what? It's still the same kind, man. I, uh, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. It's still the same thing. And even, even if certain genetic you know, mutations take place over a certain amount of time, a dog is still a dog-like creature. Yeah, man. Yeah, a wolf is still a wolf-like creature. I've never seen a dog turn into a fish. That's just me. Maybe you have. You're lying. Yeah, I'd say you have. Maybe yeah, you're movies. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, yeah, maybe in your, you know, your sci-fi fantasy movies. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I've seen them in sci-fi. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, yeah, because, you know, at one point, you know, we, we were babies, man. You know, we, we were just little babies. We could barely open our eyes. And we evolved. And we could <laughs> lift our head out. <laughs> but we grew yeah, and sprouted. Yeah. But we were still the same kind. <laughs> Dummy. 
Precepts? I've got one. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 19. I'll start verse 20 rather. It says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed yeah. to thy trust, avoiding profane outside the temple, things that are not of this word, basically, man. Things that are not of the conduct of our way. All right? It says, and vain babblings, worthless, idle, I-D-L-E, babblings, man. And oppose and, and sorry, and oppositions of science, falsely so called. And what does the word science mean? It goes into knowledge. So it's false knowledge. In the Greek there is gnosis, which yep. is where you get the term gnostic. Yep. Which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee, Amun. And people who have this doctrine of evolution and stuff, they have erred from the faith. If they you can't mix that with the truth. You just cannot do it, man. Tells it I, I don't know if I said it out loud, but I thought it. It tells you in the scripture in Genesis, the first chapter, that they reproduced after their kind. Yeah, they I came after that. their kind, yeah, after their kind. That. Like not monkey fish. I was thinking that actually. It's it's a form of blossoming they throw after its kind, man. Like right now I've got these sunflowers growing in my house. Um it's slowly started to sprout and now it's not blossomed out of its flowers, but it's starting to see it get the stem out and then a little bit of the buds and all that, but it's not really a flower yet, but it's still the same seed growing out of the kind. Right, and all the all this like smashing on his his so called philosophies and ideologies, this is all part of the ministry. You know, we need to be able to articulate. We don't need to go deep, deep into the science. We need to at least poke holes and expose this man, you know, for what it is. If you say, right, we all come from Africa, we all used to be dark skinned. So what is the Chinese, the European more developed than the African? Think about it. If you're saying, right, this, right, the, we're more developed than the ape. This is more developed than that. And you're saying, well, the, everyone came from the black man. So what did you develop past that? You know, what, what is implied there? This is 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Right? And a lot of ease philosophy exalts himself above the Most High, or exalts itself above the Most High. Yep. Yeah, he is that Prince of Tyrus. He is that King of Babylon. He is that Man of Sin. And all of them it talks about who opposeth and exalteth himself against above all that is called God. You know, all of it says that. It says that in Second Thessalonians, which we read. It says that in Ezekiel 28. It says that in Isaiah 14. You know, all of these things are talking about the same man, that same entity, the man of sin. The devil, the diabolos, right? The false accuser, the slanderer. He falsely accuses the Lord. You know, he tries to say that this is wicked, this law is wicked, you know, this is bad, this is bad. You know, when we when we ask, well, what do you have in place? What do what do you replace it with? You know, you come up with actual wickedness. It's a pure land of confusion, man. This system needs to go down, and you have a shy the Messiah will be bringing it down. Yeah, and what does confusion mean? With fusion, with mixing, with mixture, mixture, mixing all types of things about the place people don't have any Babal. real guidance, man. Yeah, man. That's what Bab Babylon comes from. That root Babal, the Hebrew word Babal, means what the brother just said, mixing. Um, that's where you get the term miscellaneous, you know, mixture, miscegenation, mixture. Now, this place needs to go down. It's pure confusion. You can have, you can have in in the liberal mindset, the liberal thought pattern. You've got Islam, which advocates, you know, the th or at least their countries do, the throwing off of mows off buildings, and then you've got the mows, which if they were in power, they'd probably throw it, <laughs> those the, the other people off buildings, man. But these are these are both two your groups that you're advocating for they're in complete diametric opposition if i'm using that word correctly i just want it to sound fancy you know you're you're this is completely opposite to this but you, you push it all together <laughs> yeah what is that it's confusion you got you're mixing it up confusion right and you other side of the the proverbial bird you know which better you know, just because I got in the so-called liberals doesn't mean I'm a Republican or whatever. All that system is fucked. All that yeah, we bullshit. don't believe in that. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, we believe in these biblical principles. There you go. Two wings part the same bird. There it? it is. What bird is that? That a wicked eagle that exalted itself. Yep. Right. They come and took us. Now and now parades around the earth setting up military camps. Yep. Yeah, that shit's not going to save you either. You th you actually think the pride of your heart has deceived you? Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Do you think that you may fight against the Messiah when he returns? You're going to see it, it. You're going to see him, the angels, the chariots. You're going to acknowledge, all right, so this, this is what it is. And you're still going to fight. 
Like it says in Ezra, they were so afraid yet thirst to fight. Second Ezra 13. Alright, so you're going down, man. You're going down lower than Chinatown. You're going to be a lower bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be your lot. <laughs> Titus chapter 1, verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers for there are many unruly and vain talkers especially they and deceivers especially they of the circumcision right, man. meaning what especially they that know the Israelites that so called believe yeah, you're the worst ones you're the same scoffers you're the same mockers no priest said Bible now yeah Ezekiel 28 oh, okay and then, as, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Start this one more hit. This is Ezekiel 28 and 1. The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of tyrants, Thus saith Yahweh power, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a power. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not God. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Right, because in that time, the, the prince of Tyrus literally, you know, they, they dwell in a a, a a location where it's accessible by navy, you know, by, by the seas. But this this time, you know, this man is, is known to, it tells you in Revelation 17, that that seas that he sits on is the people, the, the nations and everything like that. But this man has you know, rulership over the seas, you know, the, the ships, you know, the imports, the exports. Yeah, he has rulership over all that. Oh God, this as well. This is Sarak 10 and 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? Because again, it says that he is a man. But he, but he, he's, too, he's too boastful, man. He's, he's exalted himself. He's put himself in a high place where he thinks he's above that, man. And everyone's buying into Everyone's buying into that BS, man. And it reads, there, uh, there is no more wicked thing than a covetous man. And that who is the most covetous man on this earth? All right. I show the red man of Genesis 25. He is indeed the number one most covetous man. Because look, look what he's doing, man. Everything is for him. You know, people always ask around now, I've noticed. I say always, but I've, I've said it more often where it's just people talking about, you know, of, of the fact that there's a shortage of this. Are, are they really, is there a shortage? Are they heaping, you know, now, are they heaping things up? Basically, is it sort of um, a thing that I'm basically trying to bring up? Basically, like they're heaping things up. They have stuff stored, but they ain't just going to give it out. They ain't thinking like how you think you're thinking. Because <laughs> I don't know if these people are really thinking about, you know, distributing and being fair, but they're claiming that, okay? They ain't really thinking like that. They're thinking about what they need to stock up. They're talking about diesel, though they will, uh, from, you know, they, if they have any type of fuel stored up, they need to have a lot more for their weapons. Because again, they're all about war, man. And they know people want to fuck them up, including their own people. The people up in in in, in uh, Russia, man, they want to fuck them up. A lot of, when you when you realize when you're outside of school and when you get into a job and when you get around actual people of the world, these are the nations that absolutely fucking despise you. You know, they can't stand him. No, they absolutely hate him. They no, keep, they keep the tongues, you know, until, unless, until they realize, you know, where if if they're in a in a position that they can say it, you know, without getting repercussions. But they they can't stand him, man. Yeah, they man. can't stand him. I, I'll tell you, man. When I, cause I I grew up in Dubai, man. When I first moved out here, I remember thinking how much I didn't want to be around the so-called white man, cause it was so fucking weird, so different, so fruity and bizarre. So perverse A different manner of people Yeah I, I think I mentioned this I don't know if I mentioned this on camera yeah, I remember one time Because I used to visit in the summer And there was one age Visit here Yeah sorry sorry My fault And when I lived in Dubai I would visit London right To see my mum's family Every like, year every summer And then one summer I remember my, my My mother was like Look when we come here You're going to see men With their shirts off And she would look See look Men walk around their shirts off Because people think that's normal now But when I was growing up You couldn't just fucking go around And get naked like a weirdo man Get your head chopped off man yeah, they'll be, able to, you know, they'll, they'll fucking get mad as fuck. Make, I don't know exactly what go down. <laughs> I don't think it was that, but I'm pretty sure it'd be something of, of rigorous. Well. Maybe your hand. Some type of rigor, at, like towards you, man. Which is righteous. That's actually a good thing. Don't be walking around shirtless, you fucking weirdo. Go on the bus the other day. Some dude was just walking in shirtless, man. It was just uncomfortable to see. Like, what are you doing, man? But anyway, so ten and nine. Why is Earth and Ashes proud? He, he says to, to us, he says, mad as my man walking with his dick out. <laughs> right. You know, how, how, if, if someone just walk, walking around, everyone's going to bug the fuck out. That's how we feel when we see you 
naked, man. That's your nakedness. Yeah, man. Sorry. No, 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 be sorry, man. Why is that Nash is proud? There's not a more co wick wicked thing than a covetous man. Right. For such a one setteth his own soul to sail. Because mm. while he liveth, casteth away his bowels. And, and, and basically, the bowels goes into your bowels of mercy, right? Like you, there's no mercy. They don't Because our people will happily fuck up somebody to get money, man. And why is that? Because they're learning from their daddy, E. Cool. And there's you the thing. your father, the devil. It was a what a murderer from the beginning, yep, man. Yep. Which is what the serpent Cain. Yep. There you go, man. And this is for such a one sells his soul to sell again. They sell their soul literally, man. These these high these these like um these, these jakes like your your favorite actors, your favorite rappers, your favorite basketball players. Well, even basketball players, maybe not necessarily to the high level, but people like LeBron James has. He's up in Hollywood. He's up high level, and he he's got high amounts of money, high amounts of recognition. He had to sell out, man. And really, all these NBA players, they have to sign a contract to be under them. But of course, there's levels to the to the amount of perversion they get down with. The people in Hollywood, they really got some perverse lifestyles, which we're not even going to say. I don't even want to talk about it. You can go look and you can see and you get disgusted, man. But that's the world we live in. That's what the world, the, the, the Heavenly Father had set up for E to rule over this world in such like manner. Okay. And again, there's no mercies for these people. They're, they ain't got, they're, they've cast away their bowels of mercy, man. I read that again about selling the soul. I got. I read the whole thing again. Chapter ten and nine. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. Oh, can I make a point at you real quick? You know when it goes like like you were saying, there's all wickedness is little to the wickedness of a woman. Well, women are heavily covetous, man. One of the things that that's, you know you can see very clearly. I I, I actually spoke to when I was getting my forklift forklift license, right? I was speaking to somebody from Latvia, and you know even our, even when our conversation talking about women, he didn't he didn't have the, he didn't have a, a bugged out mindset about it. Yeah, them, them people from different. Them, like, yeah, yeah, they don't fuck different. around, man. And he was saying straight, you know, he agreed with me straight away. And I was like, yeah, women are the ones who spend the money like that. He went, yep, they, they always want to spend the money. They want men with money so they can go buy all these clothes, get their nails done, go out, do all this stuff, go, go have a fancy, lavish lifestyle, basically, is what he's saying, right? So that's the thing, you know, you're you're being like a fucking, like, like the damn woman, man, <laughs> okay? Which is, there's nothing, again, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. I didn't Which just make that up, that's what the scripture says, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with a woman wanting a man to provide. Yeah. You know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The, whole, the whole purpose is what to spend it on some vain shit. Right, right. Know, for some, for, to beautify yourself, to go right. outside and present it to the world. You may ga garner attention and yeah. such. And when you're a man, you have this thing in you where you want to be the provider. You know, it's, it's your thing. You know, you have to be that yeah. man, you know. Now, I'm going to read it again because the brother wants to get scripture. It says, there's not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such a one setteth his own soul to sail. Right, now let's find out about the merchandise of Babylon. Here we go. Revelation 18, verses 11 through 13. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. Here you go. Which means what? A lot of people sold their soul. Right? For, li for little shit. Right? You could, you could have bags, man. You could have billions. It don't mean, you could, yeah, you can do a little bit with it. But compared to real wealth, that's not, if you, if you haven't got slaves, you're not rich. <laughs> you know, if you've not got slaves, you're not rich. If you're talking about a grand scale, global, ancient history to now, you're not rich. You're not on any level. And if you are a slave, you ain't really rich, man. Yeah, we are. And we're all slaves, man. Yep. There's no, you're not Captain Tazaria from IUIC. Well, I'm not oppressed, but my people are oppressed. You're a fool. You're a clown. We're all oppressed, you idiot. If you're, if you're not oppressed, go, go 50 miles an hour around this, run every red light you can and see what happens. Yeah, man. You're gonna you're gonna have government intervention, which means you're not an autonomous entity. You know, you've got other people that are over you, tell you what to do. And yep. so do I. I'm not boasting, oh look at me, brother, I can drive around. Uh, you you know? said that we all we all we slaves, all slaves man. man. Just on different levels. And you know, we... Elamites are slaves, but they're not on the level that we're on. Moabites are slaves, but they're not on the level that we're on. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all slaves ultimately to the the global you know system. But we're we're real slaves, man. You, you ain't no real slave. We're the real slaves, man. What do you say? Yeah, I was, I was thinking, can you read the reverse after it as well, please? Yeah, one yeah, of the reasons yeah. why I was also like laughing is because not only is the list really long, so much merchandise if we get down with, but <laughs> what does it say after that? If I'm Revelation four, 18 and 14. 
and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. So it gave you the whole list and said all the things. <laughs> like this, everything. It's everything's going to be gone. In other words, when America's Audi 5000, the philosophies, the merchandise is all going to be Audi 5000, man. And that, that's the most Jake thing. You know, you've got this, you've got that, there's this, there's that, there's that, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's that, there's that, there's this, there's that, and you ain't getting shit. <laughs> That's the most Jake thing, man. So live it up for now, man. Live it up. Live it up. Enjoy it. Live it up. Live it up. You know? Because you know you're going to. Uh, you know if you're sat by a beach with the hot sun with your with your hose and your alcohol, I know you know you're going to live it up. Yeah, don't forget that. You top off. All God those dumb. things are defiled anyway. Yeah, yeah. As well. He's Which if you yeah, 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 yeah. The ocean, the sand. <laughs> All thanks to you, and no thanks to you, damn devil. Now things made in the ancient world actually lasted generations. <laughs> it wasn't made in China, man. Yeah, man. Are these well, cars some things were made in China in the ancient world, but it wasn't some. Of, of, sorry, go. Ahead. No, no. I, I just say like even like these cars and shit. They ain't even that lit, man. Your your Lamborghini sucks, man. I guarantee you, man, if I just kind of tap your car a little bit, it'll get, it'll get a little bit a little bit scratched up, you know what I mean? Now, if I sidekick you, though, <laughs> I might even dent your fucking car, man. Your Lamborghini ain't shit, all right? If I throw my, if I throw, if I throw a baseball at the rim, that's going to scuff it up, man. Which so we won't. We won't do that. No, no, yeah, yeah, just kind of fight. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. <laughs> Let them have the car. We're not teaching that, just to be clear, in case you're a fucking idiot. Or you're just missing not to be assholes, just in case you didn't get where we're going with that. The whole point is, is that the cars, right now, they're considered like because people, some people trust in chariots. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Scripture. And we we talk, we talked about it the day. We we're talking about like because you know I was saying in the video I don't trust these cars, man. Because the yeah, car can yeah. fuck you up, man. I, I used when I was, I was saying this to the brothers when I was in the world. I used to have an actual fear of a car fucking trampling on my ass man because cars are kind of scary as a weapon man because uh, if you get a horse and you, you start riding a horse that like you see in the movies they got a sword they're riding the horse slice this guy's head off and stomp on this guy or something like that imagine hundreds of horsepower yeah there you go that should that should say it i ain't say anything else you get the point now brothers man but that guess what it still ain't shit it still ain't gonna deliver nobody man the only real chariots are gonna be a real chariot of deliverance are the heavenly chariots That's the right. spiritual chariots man they're gonna be made of substances of, of heavenly things and things that you find of elements that are the most time made of the world i'm oh, sorry oh, so i'm sorry of the earth but then it's going to be heavenly so therefore it's going to blossom in different levels different whole other levels man you think a fucking you think, you think you think a car made by e is actually going to be better than what the heavenly father made he does he probably does in his head <laughs> the fucking idiot go ahead brother <laughs> isaiah 31 and 1 woe to them that go down to egypt for help egypt being that bubble and the great mm -hmm. and woe being de uh, death and destruction death and Go to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots. Right, so horsepower and cat. The word car comes from the word chariot. Yeah, yeah. It's part of the name, yeah. Chariot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. <laughs> but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh. The most high can smite a car and ain't got no fuel in it. Or like the brake lights, though, I don't know. There's so much shit in a car. I don't even, I'll be honest, I don't really know much yeah, about yeah, cars, yeah. but there's a lot of shit going on there. It's very easy to fuck up. And especially, lot, especially with a, a good quality, so-called high-made car, there's a lot of shit that can go wrong. Right. You know, if, it, if it goes wrong, it'll, it'll cost you a lot. Yeah. You know, like getting your brakes done can set you back three bills. If you get brake shoes and everything properly taken out, that, that can, a three per uh, hundred, you know, three bills. That's a, that's a lot of money. You know, to someone that doesn't have a lot of money, that is a lot of money. Yeah. And if, if you're living wage, paycheck to paycheck, you know, that isn't shit. That, oh, never mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll lose my, I'll lose my mind if I had to pay that. I'd be so annoyed, man. Not on a, I know as in I'd bug out, as in like on a wicked level. As in I'd be kind bug of pissed out a off. Bit, yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I might do, I might have to do the thing, boys. You know, the boys, the thing, punching the air. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out, fucking man. Because <laughs> that pissed me off big time, man. You got a preset, brother? Yeah, yeah. This is Psalms chapter 20 and verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh our power. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. Sorry, sorry, bro. I was going to say, read again. Actually. Psalm 20 and 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of Yahweh our power. Oh, what does it say again? The name. Isn't that interesting? You've got to keep remembering the name of Yahweh Baruch And that okay. goes beyond just the fame, the reputation. That's literal as well. Yeah, you can't talk, all right, this is the fame and reputation of the Most High. 
but now we're gonna apply it to a different name. What is it? Why? Yeah, he's talking the whole the the whole thing, man. Like it, like it says in Acts, is it twenty and twenty seven? For I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole counsel of the Most High. Is Ezekiel twenty eight and one? The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith Yahweh power, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a power. I sit in the seat of the Most High, in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man, and not the Most High. So thou set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. There you go. Because and the heart goes into you know basically your mind. Love or love. Yeah, you do. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Right, especially in this time, man. He's got cameras everywhere, GPS tracking systems. He's got his own you know things, his own birds in the sky, the aeroplanes, the helicopters. Yeah, dude, he's, he's on he's on some real he's on some real shit, man. He does it, Locus. I was looking for a, what we call it in the scripture. Mm. You know, he's on some real shit. You know, if you see them police programs, and I enjoy them because they, you know, they they bug me out. It's like how, yeah, you know, he has got so, he's very intelligent, man. He can find out. All right, I've got the number plate. I track it. I look it in this system. I see this. I find this camera. I get this. I get the chopper over them. Find them there. He's going down this street. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he's able it's to. Pretty man, man. He's, he's yeah, able to. Pretty fucking man. He's in the sky. About how many ever meters <laughs> up, feet up, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's telling yo, 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 da, 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 da. while my man's on, he's on in one vehicle. It's got power of like a hundred horses or two hundred, you know, however many horse. But it's crazy, man. How much we've gone, we, <laughs> how much everything has developed, man, it's to the crazy, point that man. we are able to. All right, he, right, like I, I rang the brother. You know, I'm, I'm five minutes right. Yo, I, I'm coming. Or yeah, you know, when till we link? Da, da, da. All right, we're just outside. You know, we're coming. We'll meet up there. That's craziness. Yeah, and they know we're here. They know they, 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 they can That's tap craziness, into that shit, man. man. They can triangulate things very easily with these technologies. And uh, it's nothing. I remember there was one I saw, bro. They, this guy hit under a car in it, and then the guys in the vehicles didn't know what was going on. But there was there was some up heavy, and it had like a thermal thing, and they were like, he's in there. So there's no, you can't run, you can't hide, man. You can't go off grid. You and know if, what I mean? if if and if that is a base man, imagine how we're gonna be in the kingdom. Ooh, say that again, <laughs> man, boy. If this is a base man, you know the job didn't even walk around his dogs. This is this is the technology. This is the power he's been given. Imagine. The apple of the Lord's eye, the chosen nation of the Heavenly Father. You know, and if you can't hide from E, how much can you hide from the Lord, man? Right. Because his eye sees everything. Let me get that actually. The book of Sirach, chapter 23, and uh, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Again, don't fear E, man. Is he, yeah, he's, he's, he can see what's going on. But guess what? Yahweh Bashem Yahushai can see everything. Watch. Says, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. The sun is very bright, <laughs> okay, very very bright, but ten thousand so, times brighter. Whew. Yeah, eyes, if you look at the sun, even through the clouds, you can burn out your eyeball. Yeah, man. You, know, so you can go blind looking at the sun. Yeah, man. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. There you go. Watch 10, this. Times. He knew all things, he knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. Right? He, he, he has all sight, all knowledge, all wisdom. So how, how much more, is, well, not really, you should be fearing Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, never mind more or less. Because you, you, you can't fear him, man. He's nothing. He's a fucking base man. He's a piece of shit, man. And the other nations, man, they're gonna get real excited when he's in captivity too, because they're gonna wanna, they're gonna wanna like, they're, they're gonna literally, they're gonna be shamed. Is this the man? Exactly. This guy made, made me earth? fucking believe in dinosaurs, man. What the fuck? <laughs> this guy made me, this guy made me actually believe that this whole political system that I was like voting for and everything, like, was actually on point. This guy <laughs> made me believe that a woman could beat a man in a fight. <laughs> but you know, there's gonna be exceptions to the rules. But these Lara Crofts that are doing, you know, some some triple backflip kick knocking out five men at once that's a that's a that's fuck, a fraud man fuck yeah, out of here man get the fuck out of here with that you know and he, even even the men that they put they put on like the bruce lee's and everything like that now bruce lee was was sick as fuck don't get me wrong yeah, yeah. but the the way that they push out all right this is yeah this is how you can fuck up seven men at once you know 
Like Andrew Taylor was saying, you've, you've really never, you don't understand violence, man. Yeah, yeah that's, no. a, that's a lie, man. Sorry, I was, I was gonna say, like, we train, man, we know what it's like. We know how hard it is to beat two men. It's very hard, man. Like, you have to really maneuver, and you're not really actually fighting, you're getting the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're grappling, you're going under hooks, you're getting elbow, and you're framing, you're moving away, and then you're getting the fuck out of there. Like, I go out of the frame. That's what you're actually doing. Yeah, but what, what do they show you? What about, what about, what about? Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, that, that, this, this is all your know, microcosms of the deception of what's pushed out. You know, even though it's entertainment, you know, entertainment should be something that you can, you can actually gain something from. There you go, there you go, there yeah. you go. It can't distort you. Yeah, not not all the time, you know. You can you can have time that oh, I just wanna yeah, I just wanna watch this. But yeah, the, the main things that they push out, man, is, is nonsense. Complete you know? nonsense. Man. Completely. And and I tell you what, it's it's one of the biggest reasons why like a, a, a lot of a, a lot of people actually think like that, man. Like I, I was actually I was on I was going on the bus, right? And a neighbor, uh, this woman, you know, she, like when we're talking about the scenario of someone actually going to attack you, she was just saying I would, just, I would do. Whatever it takes to, to, get, to, to, to get my bag, you know, like that's in her, ba her get purse. The bag. <laughs> yeah, I, I get sound the a bit bag. jake like <laughs> getting, the, getting the purse back. And I was like, okay, you know, like, I didn't want to. Like, yeah, that's stupid as fuck. Because the truth is, is if we're not prepared for something, it hits you hardcore. Like, you know, that's why you have to prepare. Because if you're not prepared, it's going to hit you like a thief in the night, like it's going to do for the rest of the world. They ain't going to just do something. The only way you can prepare is spiritually. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, we've water, been, water. Sorry, you know, go ahead first. No, I was just going to say, we've been unfortunate to be around you know, actual violence and have shit pop off. And them things don't happen as, as movies and they don't think happen like you'd expect, man. So the only the only deliverance you can get is from the heavenly father. There you go, man. And that's why we're saying, we're not even saying if two men comes up, make sure you 100% know jujitsu. No, we're saying, you know, jujitsu is cool, we recommend it. But the truth is, the heavenly father is going to deliver us. Not like I can say, you want to get that in judges like Samson? And we're talking about that. <laughs> we're oh, in the yeah. woods. Like we just, it just hit us like uh, a, a jawbone of an axe, and he slew a thousand men. If a thousand men were uh, against me with spears, man, all I think I would imagine doing is just dropping to my knees and praying. I'd be so scared, man. And ultimately, scared of the heavenly Father because I know He's saying it up, and I know He's in control. And I know that everything is all His power, no matter what, man. You know. And yeah, Philistines were tall dudes, man. If you get me next to a Philistine, big ass Philistine, he probably had really big, strong, like. Massive yeah, Philistines spears, bro. go back to the Egyptians. So today they're the southern southern Sudanese. Yeah, oh bro, the Sudanese, they're so they are so tall. If you didn't know this, they have to play with twelve foot rims in basketball because they're all so tall. <laughs> a seven year old can dunk. <laughs> yeah, bro, they're huge dudes, man. And now imagine a thousand I can't imagine that. I can't imagine a thousand people here right now with spears aiming at me, ready to fuck me That's up. Like, no, when, I, when I was hearing that, you know, the, the Lord's eyes are ten thousand times bright, I was thinking I can't imagine ten thousand anything. Yeah, yeah, you know? right, right. So that's a that's a crazy amount. Yeah, man. Like the brother said, that's completion, man. It's mm -hmm. completion to the, to the thousandth degree. Mm -hmm. Like it says, we're going to Ooh, you know, some some will be <laughs> some will be captured you know, and put into prison for how long? For ten days. A number of completion. Man. Yeah. Oh, and uh, before you get out, because the reason why I even stopped you is because uh, Sam and me were talking. He asked me. He's saying your brother's a bit skeptical. This is a choice of word. Skeptical about people preparing for time. And I said, no, it's not skepticism. It's it's the fact that. That's not gonna deliver you. Like you can stack How do you up prepare? cans. How do you prepare? Right. Did he say uh, skeptical about preparing? Yeah, yeah. but we he didn't, advocate he didn't, but real preparing. Quick, real quick. He didn't say as in he's saying you should do it. He was just asking. Him about it, you know what I mean? But what, what do you mean to prepare? We we advocate preparing. Right. Getting your mind right. Yep. Getting spiritually correct. Yeah. Right, right. Like GMS, get your mind right. You know, pop, uh, a pop up came up today. GMS, get your mind right. That's how you prepare. Right, right, right. What do you mean? And we've never said, and the, the apostles have never said. Starting with the apostles. Yeah, it's not. It's if you, if there's a storm or something, it's not bad if you get a couple extra cans. But if you think you're gonna really live out Jacob's trouble with all these things heaped onto you, you're an idiot. That's, those cans of beans are gonna be gone, man. They'll because be next gone. one's gonna boot down your door, come and take it. That's real. That's that's real life. Yeah, man. You know when J oh, J is Jake. Jake, he, Ooh, he knows. He knows sorry, sorry. There's gonna be seven men sometimes, man. More than that, and you ain't gonna be brave that day. You're gonna be like, yo, everyone hide up. It's okay. Let them take it. It's okay. That's what you're gonna have to do. I right, don't act like a hero in that time, man. Shit's pop off. With people got weapons and stuff, especially in Babylon. They got guns and shit. Heavy, like we got guns out here. I'm not saying they ain't got, but it's so common out there. Like, do you really want to try to be a hero and get your head blown up in front of your wife and children? I hope you don't. Fucking you know. hell. Know what I mean? And then again, you know, guys, to what? For the <laughs> well, brother Sam, right? We were talking, you know, we we're talking about the whole preparing thing. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. You can, of course, it's okay to get candles if, if there's a blackout or you get some food stocked up just in case. But don't think that's what's going to deliver you. Like the guy in, who used to have the whole list, Marcus, man, the whole fucking list of shit, the whole big ass list of things. And I'm looking at it like, bro, that, 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 that's going to run out in a week. That probably won't even last a day with you, you fucking Jake. <laughs> no, this shit, bro, you ain't gonna... I could finish that in one night. <laughs> yeah, bro, the fuck? That's a meal for me. Are you sure you want to only have that much? <laughs> go ahead, brother. Go get the scriptures out. Judges 15, verse 15. If I may comment just one oh, more thing. Sure. You know, getting into a custom with fasting is not a bad thing. Yeah. That's, a, that's a way to carnally and spiritually prepare. Yeah, man, we yeah. should be fasting. I don't fast enough. I'll say, I put mine up and say it straight away. I need Same to fast here. more. I was actually thinking to the brothers and you to actually hit you brothers up recently. And be like, oh, let's fast today. Let's fast and stay, all of us. You know what I mean? We need to do that more, man. And if you think you need to do it more, then go on it, man. No time like the present. Judges 15, verses 15. And he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. <laughs> and Samson said, With the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with the jaw of an ass have I slain a thousand men. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand and called that place Ramathalai. Ramathlehi. Yeah, go on to the other one, guys. And let me read it. I'm sure. It's actually a high word. Yeah, we're marked. We're marked up there, so high of the jawbone. Okay, so you call it. Lord, what happened to him? The Lord put the spirit on him. He had spiritual power, and that's what we're looking for in a time of heavy trouble. We're not thinking about, you know, being like training up, making sure we have a push up some point, making sure we can have really fast jabs. Get a pallet of beans and push it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't gonna do shit, Get, man. Uh, two ten liter water containers for Jacob's trouble to bench press on it. That ain't the shit, man. That is not it. That ain't it, man. Right, I'm going to read this, I'm going to read this again, Ezekiel 28.3 Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. Thy great wisdom, and by thy traffic, hast thou increased thy riches. The traffic is doing it too. That's why you say, oh, someone's drug trafficking. Oh, this guy got a car for human trafficking. You yeah, trafficking is what he's sell, buying and selling. Right. You know, so when, when you, why do you say, oh, I'm stuck in traffic? Because it's assumed that, oh, it's lorries. You know, that it, before when chariots weren't as accessible, cars weren't as accessible, it's mainly, you know, big businesses oh, would have them. I thought you just actually had to that. Because again, we are, like, they, they got what? They give us uh, national insurance numbers, social security numbers, all that. So basically, we are. It's like in the, um, yeah, man. It's like if the phone uh, keeps getting hit with the wind. So what we're talking about is traffic. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like I was gonna say, um, like, cause, cause we're basically, cause we're slaves now, cause we're owned. When we're, when we're being, dri when we're, if we're driving around, that's traffic right there, because property is being moved and stuff. Things that are used, like things that are being sold for, like you say, selling for service. So even then, it's still like that, you know. And you know, like other post I was going into that old video, very old video about in, uh, going through Ezekiel 17, I believe. Yeah, Ezekiel 17. He, he was talking about how it's called the World Trade Center, right? That was that was in, in New York, in, in Babylon. Great. Right, I think we should start wrapping up. I'll read this first. Yeah, Ezekiel 28, 5. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches. Thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches, right? Your mind is lifted up, you're lifted up in your mind. Again, that's why it goes, and when you go back to verse 2, where it says, it says um, that though thou set thine heart as the heart of God, because of all these riches, because you have all, these, all, all this wealth that you're sitting on, man. It says in Isaiah 47, who, who saith, you know, I am and none else. I Meaning, what I am the God, no one else. Yeah. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 18. 
They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our street. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, but our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heavens. They pursued us upon the mountains. They had laid wait, they had laid wait for us in the wilderness. Yeah, and that's E. No, it's this is Ezekiel 28 6. Therefore, thus saith the of power, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and thy sh uh, uh, sorry, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. Right, and the main the main strangers coming against Babylon the Great is going to be the EU nations, the Ten Horns, and chiefly Gog and Magog, the so called Russia, that USSR rising themselves back up with. Yeah, we can we can turn the text. I got no, I got you like this end of the verse. It says, um, read that verse in the book. Yeah. I got you. Verse seven. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. They're going to go against you, man. And it says of thy wisdom, right? Because once again, when Babylon the Great is out of five thousand, of course, the philosophy, the doctrine is going to be gone as well, man. And they shall defile thy brightness. Okay, that 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 that, that light, that that's light. a false Lucifer. light. Yep. That's there you go. This is a, that's a good scripture. For to prove he's do something. Yep. From Isaiah 14. Yep. And then I had one more. Oh man, do you know what it is in Job? Paraphrasing. Going into the light. I can't paraphrase it. The light. Being put out. Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking the light. But I'll get this one instead because I don't know what this one is. Maybe it's lamb. The Proverbs chapter 13. Is it 13? I believe it's 13. The book of Proverbs chapter 13. Bear with me. Yeah, verse 9. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. This is Job 18 and verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Verse 6. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, yep. and his candle shall be put out with him. And his, his main tabernacle is Babylon the Great. That's the headquarters of wickedness and traffic in the merchandise. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their land after their own names. And that's why you have America, America in this future. That's why you have Colombia, Christopher Columbus, Cristobal Colón. Yeah, this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 43 and verse 30. Will ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for you can never go far enough. So the praise being edifying, shall I to the elect of the nation of Israel, to go honor to the apostles and elders of the great milestone of the world, with every word and doctrine. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukhah, Kudash, Wath, Mubabah, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.